taking on the discipline to stay indoors in light of this uh, COVID-19 situation? Well, certainly, um, Jesse, and it's something that we can all relate to. I mean, before we came on air, some of us were just speaking of our own experiences, um, yesterday being Friday, mm -hmm. and even getting the days mixed up, you're not sure whether it's Friday, whether it's Saturday. I mean, all of us, our normal routines, our normal lives have been disrupted. But we have to come to the realization that we're all in this together, and this thing is impacting on all of us. And we have to take heed um, to the necessary protocols and what has been put in place as difficult as it is, as difficult as it may seem. Mm -hmm. And I just want to go back to the very first um, clip you, we played here um, from the CMO, yes. um, that there are no new cases. Even with <coughs> this um, so-called good news, mm -hmm. the news out there is still not good. Overall. So, yeah, overall. Mm -hmm. You know, and that we still, we still are not, the all clear is still not there. Um, there still is a possibility of community transmission and we must practice the best protocols and as best as possible those of us who do not have to be out there those of us who are not essential services providers should remain indoors absolutely and just uh, speaking of that just to go over the essential services schedule one mm -hmm. persons should be home today nobody if you don't have a pass from nemo if you're not essential services personnel, you should be indoors today. Thursday, uh, persons were given the opportunity to uh, sit, to, to head out and go to the mini marts mm -hmm. and go to the small community shops um, to get supplies that they really needed. Of course, that was in conjunction with Nemo also heading out to, to, to bring supplies to the general public, persons in need, the vulnerable, uh, the elderly, and so on. Uh, and of course, we, there were cases where, you know, it almost had you thinking, should the Prime Minister have allowed uh, <laughs> us to do this at this time? Does it not defeat the very purpose? When we saw uh, some of the behavior out at, at outside of those um, mm -hmm. community um, shops and mini marts, you know, persons were, cra there were cramped queues, crowds, yes. and defeating the purpose of yes. this uh, curfew. Yes, it was clearly a case of um, <coughs> damn if you do, damn if you don't. Um, we, we all understood the merit of putting that measure in place, uh, the temporary measure of allowing <coughs> persons to go in there, um, with the expectations that there will be persons who will adhere to the necessary protocols and what have you. But clearly, those will not <laughs> adhere to and persons will not only put in themselves at risk, but um, putting others at risk. So, yes, we understood the, the reason why the Prime Minister temporarily lifted that ban for a few hours, especially to allow um, some of the vulnerable persons or persons who had not yet stocked up on supplies, but then again, hmm. we saw what, what happened. Well, we definitely hope that if uh, Cabinet proceeds with allowing us to uh, get some supplies from the community small shops and the mini marts on Monday, April 6th, as scheduled from 6 a.m. to 12 noon, we hope that uh, better, better, better um, judgment will prevail amongst the general public that uh, heads out to get their supplies. Uh, Carlton, we're, we're in studio with Carlton Cyril, better known as Cox, uh -huh. and he will be providing us with the Creole uh, mm -hmm. summaries of our discussion here this morning. <clears throat> Quite something, yeah? Persons having to now develop a mindset that we need to stay indoors, no matter what mm -hmm. it takes to ensure that we don't have a situation on our hands where a, a, a vast majority of the public is at risk for corona. Yeah. Yeah. Um, merci, um, uh, Jesse. Et puis, um, bon, moi, dit bonjour pour vous écouter et que nous à la télévision. Nous ici en studio GIS. Qu'à continuer mener information bas où qu'on va la développer et qu'on va bientôt nous à discuter. Euh, bon matin, euh, nous en tout et moi, ça en pile de haut. Peut-être même quand même, moi, moi, aujourd'hui, c'était vendredi. Et en fin de dire, c'est pas manière, nous même t'es qu'expecté hier. En pile de nous, la ca, boiti boit nous, point de vin, rien à dire, chance pour qu'on nous, ben, au cas un truc, au cas où, bagay la différent. En parmi bagay, nous qu'a discuté, bon matin, on est en, mazel le os et puis nous ni tourné et puis nous j'ai parlé. Au téton, c'est docteur qui sorti Cuba. Yo j'ai bah yo permission, et c'est bon ça ça travaille après ça yo t'es descend pour assister et puis travailler puis cette lici, et cette licien, là il vient pour vermin. Uh, COVID-19. Uh, uh, COVID, um, Et puis là, autant bon nouvelle, parmi tout ça qu'a fait là, 
bagay la pou kou vini pli men bat yon nan se bon nouvel la ki ha sorti se le vini pou dokter Belma George se li ki chef medikal am ofisye ki ka chenazyan le sa ka fet lan i jadi nou nou pou koni pies ka nouvo pies lot ka pou kou wapote kwa sa se yon bon bagay pou a prezan sa pa vle di bagay la ja fini e ben bagay ha vini pli men bat isam sa nou ka fe a ka twavay Komisyon ka wete toujou, wete kayou. Ve min nan pa ka mache, moun ki ka mache. Si nou ka bien kopan sa ka lea, bon maten le nou antwe, mwen ka di am Tony, nou ni an misye, bon jan mwen mwen konet li hod l'Amerik, New York, i mor. Yo kouye, yo di mwen, i mor. Bon, sa mwen ka di aze, tout tan i pa wive ka sa, nou pa ka kopan kate serye, bagay la serye. Pre ministre lan ou te tan pli bon e a nou jwe an ti mò sou hod pre ministre lan e te ka pale bay ti mò fi e po leon. Yon nan se bagay lan e di a ki bien bon an se dat ki le zot se peyi a ki sa asiste nou a prezan yon men brizen ed. So nou men ni pou fè sa nou sa fè pou kon nou. Nou pa ni moun pou asiste nou. Lan mewik ka goumen, lan glite ka goumen, ou ka tan ni itali, tou pa tou kon moun nou ka yman de ed. Kon moun, kwa a Komisyon kle misi pou maten an. Wete kayo, fè sa ou sa fè a, pou ede kou. Nou oblie, bon maten nou de kapale osi, nou ni fouye, nou ni manje, nou ni fig lan, se moun sa pa ni sa, ou sa machan jadon, ou sa di neba ou ba ou an pat fig. Nou sa fè sa, moun ka fè kom si diwe, yo oblie, sa yè a. Nou ni pou koumanse fè an chanjman. Chanjman ka koumanse epi nou. Kon nou ka di a mese, nou isi a pou ba ou informasyon, nou ka fò ou sa, sa ka ale a, manye ka ale a, nou ka y vizite, Tout sa ki jap asen an si men nan, ek nou ka kontinu epi diskosyon isi ya, sa nou ka mando se wete pi nou, koute sa nou ka dia informasyon depi nou henni, nou ka iba ou yi, ek nou ka kontinu epi diskosyon nou isi ya. Thank you very much, Carlton. Thank you for that. We have an update on the Nemo Relief Package distribution. We have a report from Daniel Dubois. Is that ready, Roger? Not as yet. But uh, just to let you know that uh, NEMO, the National Emergency Management Organization, continues to work assiduously. Of course, there are many uh, volunteers at the BZA headquarters right now. Uh, these persons are working very hard to ensure that we get the supplies that are public, the, the persons who are vulnerable, the persons who are in need, the persons who are elderly and, and sick and shut in can get at this time. Just to lighten the, the mood, I want to go to a report of the first baby being born at the OKE hospital. We're going to come back to the Corona-19 uh, news in just a moment. But first, let's lighten our hearts.
We got our, our wires crossed there. I know I promised the first baby born at the OKEU hospital, but we got some scenes from the BZ headquarters, uh, the NEMO, National Emergency Organization. And the plans, the, the, the work that is underway right now, you see bags being filled up, you see um, supplies being um, put together for persons across the island who have called the 311 hotline, left their name, their aliases, their contact information, their addresses, and, and, and that, is going, that is happening right now. Around the country, uh, the, the trucks are headed out, going out to, to bring these supplies uh, to the persons who need it most. And right now, as promised, we have the report, the first baby born at the OKEU hospital. Amid the confusion, panic and fear of COVID-19, comes a glimmer of hope at the Owen King EU hospital, as the first baby delivered at the hospital is showered with gifts by Marcy Stores and the office of the Prime Minister. Daria Peter was among the few other mothers primed to give birth on Friday, March 27th, the patient move day for the OKUH, but it was her son, Darian Owen Peter, who won the race. Nurse Katiana Lewis, one of the jubilant nurses in the maternity ward, happily made the presentation on behalf of Marcy Stores and the office of the Prime Minister. Daria Peter, on behalf of OKU Hospital and the maternity team, we would like to congratulate you on being the first mother to deliver at our brand new hospital. Um, we also like to present to you a lovely token on behalf of Massey Stores to your baby boy, Darian Owen Peter. And we hope, trust that it will go a long way in helping you as your new mother. And we again congratulate you and all the best to you. The blushing mother, Daria Peter, was almost speechless as she expressed her gratitude for the care package she received. I feel great, I feel excited, and I'd like to thank the maternity team and my sisters for the hamper I got. <laughs> Darian Owen Peter, his middle name chosen by his mother, symbolic of the institution where he was delivered, and the great physician whose name it bears, the Owen King EU Hospital. Reporting for the Ministry of Health and Wellness, I'm Glenn Simon. So heartwarming, the first baby born at the OKEU hospital, Darian Owen Peter. Congratulations to the mom. Of course, she was blushing there. It's so wonderful to see uh, that even despite what uh, the country is going through, there are these little glimmers of hope. The kids are hope for the future. Mm -hmm. And so we, we have to protect them. We have to protect Darian. We have to protect our kids. We have to protect our elderly, we have to protect those who are most vulnerable, and that means uh, maintaining social distancing, best practices when it comes to averting and curbing the spread of COVID-19. Tony, you had some comment on uh, the distribution, the package distribution right now? Yes, we were getting lots of feedback about persons querying, you know, when are the, the Nemo persons are Red Cross reaching their communities? But just to a little person is that the teams are trying their best, doing their best to get to every community in St. Lucia. It is not going to happen all in one day. You saw the pictures, you saw the volunteers, um, the cadet corps working very hard to put those packages together and distribution will be taking place across the islands. They went out Thursday, they went out yesterday, they will be going out again today. We have been hearing reports about, you know, um, some of the trucks persons trying to accost, you know, the, the workers trying to rob the trucks. The reports of that have been coming in. But we're just asking persons all over the island, please, please bear patience. Um, stop listening to the fake news. Stop sharing those pictures about a few items being in the packages, um, which is not true. And these packages are meant to just help persons just to roll over over the next few days. Not, not, to, you know? not to change their lives. Not to change your life. You're not going to get lobster. You're not going to get Cadbury chocolates or Ferrero Rocher in there. You know? <laughs> it is just to, to, to supplement what you may have before. So we're just asking persons. I mean, the, the list of numbers have been posted on social media. Probably a little later, we could read out some of those mm -hmm. numbers that you could call if you've not been able to reach uh, um, Nemo, where you could register your name or someone close to you who you know is vulnerable. I just wanted to reiterate that point. A very important point to note, you know, and, and as I was going through social media yesterday, uh, 
the bags were coming in and we, we did see instances of gratitude, but it's unfortunate that we did also see some instances where persons seemed uh, um, uh, unsatisfied with what they received. And we just want to let you know this is just to supplement what you may already have. It is to get you through. Uh, Minister Guy Joseph uh, noted that th this is not anything grand. It is something that you have to hunker down. This, the country is in a situation and we're not expecting everybody to eat three four course meals a day mm -hmm. this is to hunker down this is make this is to make sure that um, if you do have a few nutritious meals it is possible uh, thanks to the government of st. Lucia so this is just for a time until the Prime Minister makes an, an announcement on whether there may be a, a continued curfew and to what extent it will continue into the new week after the 7th of April we are due for a break, but before we go, I just want to get a word in from Carlton mm -hmm. on in a, a Creole summary of what we've just uh, spoken of. Okay, um, merci encore, um, Leon. Uh, vous avez nous à souhaiter un GIS. Nous allons continuer par aux informations qu'on nous aime. Et nous nous discussions nous à uh, bon matin en uh, studio. Uh, Car faut savoir ça qui a passé, manière qui a passé pour vous même uh, pour trouver quoi informer. Nous j'ai parlé à ce activité Nimo. En chaque monde qui a parlé, en chaque monde voulait savoir ça qui allait, qui l'est, yoga hen ça, yoga hen non. Et puis nous juste voulait savoir sur des cafés et télévision. Ou est quantité mounio ni kamite se bagay sa ensemble. Manje a se bagay lan, yo vini ensemble, yo ni yo, et puis yo ni pou distribute yo bay tout moun mon set lisi. Kwa nou ka fou sab dat ki, se pa yon bagay ki ka fet konkou yon dan yon editan, pou chok la wive jis swazey, et pou chok la wive jis labo wi, i pa ka fet kon sa. Limo, nou haba ou limo sa, tout moun sab twa yon yon, et puis et nous savons là que euh, il y a des cas expériences et on des euh, problèmes, petits problèmes et puis trop. Et ben quand il y a des gens qui couillent, mais il y aura un meilleur bail en place. Il y aura deux c'est ça. Quand ça nous a doublé c'est ça. Point patience. Là les gens qui j'ai dit oui ils jouent ça ils jouent non. Manger c'est pas un bagage pour ou et puis faire mon dit ou ni ou ma ou ni couille biche. Il y aura pas un petit bagage changer. Ça c'est les gens qui bien brisent, les gens qui partent ça sort dehors. Si ça ou ka hen an di dan pa ka ja yo ka ba wa. Se pou menon pa di tan peyi a femi. Anti di wi, anti fan fons, anti sik. Se pa ma kwe moun ka kwe ou ka hen losyon, ou ka hen savon, ou ka hen ba. Yo ka ba wan bagay pou che bo paske nou tout sav nou an dan tan ki difisil plas la femi. Kwa an nou ka dou souple ni patience et nous ka wè se machine nan do la se chok la yo ni se bag la ou ka wè yo ka mené se commission moun ja jwenn anik ni anti patience pa di tan euh, nou ka distribute ben ni mo ka fè konpe pou ba ou sa ka la a pa di lòt bagay nou a diskite ou ka sa pa mi sa ka la nou ni bon nouvèl premier ti mamay la ja fèt euh OK IO à l'hôpital Neuf lan nou ni an euh, ti bray euh, noy euh, Darian Owen <laughs> Peter il fait, ça c'est bonne nouvelle, nous avons un premier timé à la Jafet, quoi, nous avons dit, parmi tout ça qui a fait là, là, nous avons dit, bonne nouvelle, en disant ça, maman, Daria Peter, il était bien content, merci, il y a un petit cadeau, c'est notre le docteur, tout le monde était bien content, là, il vient pour ça qui a passé. Encore, nous avons dit, Kamado, messieurs, il faut changer, où était la caillou, ça c'est commission. Souhaitez là, 20 minutes, pas qu'à ka marcher. Nous avons pris 10 points dans un moment, les nouvelles, nous avons une plus de discussion uh, ici à so NTN uh, GIS. Thank you very much, Carlton, for that. Uh, we have coming up uh, this morning the first batch discharged from quarantine. Great news for that batch and their families, I can imagine. We have a report on that, and we have more news coming up on the Nemo relief package. And just to let you know, we have uh, the Honorable Minister for Health and Wellness, Mary Isaac. She will be speaking to us uh, via telephone in just a moment. Do stay tuned. You're watching the COVID-19 response here in St. Lucia at the GIS studios. Personal risk reduction is important. Germs are everywhere and you can reduce your risk of infection by practicing some basic infection control measures. Taking the stairs, avoid touching the railing. If taking the elevator, ensure you use hand sanitizer immediately after exiting the elevator. 
Hand sanitizers with 60% or more alcohol are great to use, so have some readily available on your desk for quick use. Have your own personal bottle to carry with you when away from running water and soap. Germs can spread easily and be anywhere. Be sure to wipe down or disinfect desks, telephones and keyboards. Washing your hands often will reduce the spread of germs, but you must wash them as recommended. Masks and gloves serve a purpose and provide protection when used in the recommended settings and when used correctly. They are not practical for the office or business place and can lead to the further spread of germs when used badly. Use only if you are coughing and or sneezing or taking care of someone who is ill with flu-like symptoms. For more information, call the Ministry of Health and Wellness at 468 Five three four seven, four six eight five three four nine, or four six eight five three five zero. Thank you for staying tuned. It's a lovely Saturday morning under the circumstances. Uh, for those of you who have lost all track of time, uh, it is Saturday, uh, the fourth of April. 2020. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're just joining, thanks. Uh, we want to welcome you. Uh, for those of you who have been viewing, you would have caught up on the chief medical officer speaking on the no new cases to report this week, thankfully. Also, the prime minister making an appeal uh, via the news spin program this week for the general public to comply with the emergency orders that have been uh, implemented. The first baby born at the OKEU hospital, Darian Owen Peter. And at this point, I want to get into a story. We have a report on the first batch discharged from quarantine, the first batch of people discharged from quarantine. As you would know, over 300 persons were quarantined. That's individuals uh, coming into St. Lucia, returning to St. Lucia um, from flights and whatnot. And just as a precaution, the government of St. Lucia, the Ministry of Health and Wellness, uh, put these persons in quarantine. And the first batch has been cleared for going home. They were uh, equipped with a bag of supplies to head home. Of course, there is no uh, supermarket so that they could go get some supplies to, to fill their homes with. So they got some packages from Nemo. Just take a look at this report to furnish you with that latest development. 85 individuals at the Rodney Bay Public Health Facility have completed their 14 days in quarantine and were sent home. The individuals showed no signs and symptoms of COVID-19 and were provided with certificates of health upon their departure. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar george noted that the first batch of individuals released from quarantine entered the facility on Friday, March 20th, 2020. Everyone has been checked through the, they got their ch clinical check from, from this morning and transportation has been arranged for them to get to their community and also they received care packages given that the supermarkets are closed. As we were working in collaboration with Nemo, so we were able to arrange and organize that they get care packages on their release to ensure that they have a supply of food available when they get home. Late Administrator of the Rodney Bay Public Health Facility, Audrey Best, says she's very glad that individuals in quarantine get to go home and express hope that they receive support from the community. Happy for them, happy that they can go home to their families and find some kind of balance. The hope that the community that they're going into understands that quarantine does not mean that you have contracted the virus. The hope that people on the outside understands what it means when I've contracted the virus, how should I stay safe? St. Lucians really have to understand what the virus is and how you can protect yourself and that we need to be taking care of those of our families that are sick. 
and extending the love, care, and appreciation to whoever is in your community that would have, for whatever the reason, contracted the virus and that we can help them get better. Two individuals released from quarantine shared their experience. When I first came here, I, I didn't really like it because I came down for a funeral and like they have me, they kept me here because I could not go and like I wanted to go funeral so like it, it was me the guy who jumped the wall to go home because I did not like it, I wanted to go funeral and I came for that. I didn't really come here for quarantine and thing. Yeah, when I came back here, it was, it was passing because it better being here or being out there because you see how they have some disease and things. So I stay in here, yeah. I know my staying here because oh, they have more disease than here because we stay for inside here. Solutions. Stay home. Don't blame anybody. And be happy. Because the government or the prime minister hasn't done anything wrong. You know, you just have to save lives. Over the next few days, another batch of individuals in quarantine will be released and sent home. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health and Wellness, I am Fennel Neptune. Quite refreshing news uh, that uh, the first batch uh, has been released from quarantine. They have been cleared. They do not have, they do not carry the COVID-19 virus. They do not have the COVID-19 disease. And so... They do not have the COVID-19 disease, and so they have been cleared. And just, uh, uh, we were just speaking about the, the stigma part of it. You know, these persons will be returning to their communities, and we want to encourage you, if you happen to know the persons who were in quarantine and they're coming back into your community, we do encourage you to welcome them back home because they are safe and sound. They do not carry the COVID-19 virus. Tony. That, that's so very important, Jesse. Of course, welcome them practicing the social distancing, Dancing, of course. Of course. Um, mm -hmm. But we're just asking persons to cease from practicing any stigma, you know, and discrimination against those persons. They have been given the all clear, and so they will be reintegrating into the various communities. But everyone, including those who are going back into the communities, must still adhere to the protocols, the social distancing, staying at home, washing of the hands, and all of the other information. I mean, we don't have to keep going over it, even though I think that we should, mm -hmm. but by now I think the message has been clear to everyone. You know the messages are staying at home, because you never know. Because the, the, the thing about this virus is that someone may have it and not show any signs or symptoms. Mm -hmm. You know, we have not been given it all clear. This thing is still around somewhere. We do not know where, we do not know who have it. So it's just to adhere to all the protocols, uh, staying at home and practicing the social distancing. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, social distancing, these persons are coming back into the community. I, I know the, when the Prime Minister was speaking on the 24-hour uh, curfew in effect, mm -hmm. he did mention that everybody should remain confined to their residence. And he did make mention that a person should not leave to visit their neighbor or go for a walk or go to the beach. So if you have friends that have been released from quarantine, now is not the time to visit them to find out perhaps what they bring from you for, for bring for you from America or what have you. We can wait until the 24-hour curfew is done. We can wait until the 24-hour curfew for the seven days is done. And just to uh, go over the Prime Minister's uh, national shutdown measures, 24-hour curfew is in effect right now. Every person shall remain confined to their place of residence. A person can only leave their place of residence upon written authorization by NEMO, inclusive of essential services. Again, people are not permitted to go to the beach. People are not permitted to go for a walk or to visit their neighbor. People will only be allowed to leave their place of residence for medical emergencies. Supplies will be provided to the poor and vulnerable by NEMO and police. Tony, you said some things, you know, don't need repeating because it should have been hammered in by now. But yes. I think, I think it, yes. it, it, it should be, you know, it should be reiterated, should be re-emphasized constantly to persons in the general public, you know, because we can sometimes lose ourselves in, 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 the, um, in, the, in the going about of things. We have been told to stay in. A lot of people have become sort of disoriented. <laughs> 
you yes. know with the washing of their hands they go they touch their face they forget to wash their hands we just want you to to be aware be aware of your actions be aware of what is happening around you remember to stay indoors the urge that if you're living along the coast to, to head out just go get a little sea bath it, it, it could be that 10 or more of you are on the coast at the time. So we're encouraging everyone to stay in, obey the law. It is the emergency powers ordinance that has been put in place. We encourage you to obey and adhere to the advice of the government of St. Lucia. Just to give an update, a notice on farming, farming, minimal operations. Farmers are allowed to maintain their farms from 5 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day. They are supplying the nation with the food. They, they are supplying the nation, uh, um, taking care of livestock, uh, raising uh, and, and tending to their, their produce right now. So farmers are allowed to maintain their farms from 5 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day uh, for this uh, for this national shutdown right now. Gas and petrol stations, minimal operations for essential service providers and NEMO passes only. The petrol stations below will be open daily from 6 a.m. to 12 noon and that is the Cool Breeze in Soufra, Southern Taxi in Viewfort, Number One Service Station in Viewfort, Ken Service Station in Miku, North South Petrol Station on, Shos on the Chaussee Road, uh, Super Surf Petrol Station in Wadawaj, Groselay. So if you do not, if you do not have a farm, if you're not a farmer, you shouldn't be out. And if you are not a Nemo, uh, a Nemo, you do not have a Nemo pass. If you're not an essential service provider, you should be in at the moment, protecting yourself and your family. Carlton. Merci en chai, Jesse Lanco. Bon, moi, donc, on nous continue ici à ce GIS Cabo Information. Qui ça qui a fait pas du temps où ça nous tout caille nous. Parmi bagaille nous a discuté, qu'a discuté ici à ou qu'a bien content pour ça. En chai, ces gens et ben en compagnie en ces mounes y ont déjà ni quarantine en ces hôtels là. Ces mounes ça a déjà fait un yo et puis yo a quitté yo aller la caillou ça c'est premier set c'est mon ça yo ha quitté yo aller caillou qui veut dire yo pas ni vers maintenant covid 19 là yo pas ni et puis nous a café à si oui c'est mon ça qui est sorti l'autre pays là yo a examiné yo et qu'à présent c'est mon ça yo ha quitté yo aller ouais famille ben aller caillou côté yo carité souple nous comment do pas traiter ces mondes à pièce calte manière parce que ils ont eu tenu au quarantine c'est pour ouais si yo même tenu vers maintenant à présent nous ça avec nous bien content ça c'est bonne nouvelle gavina ça qu'a fait là yo pani covid là et puis yo avoir yo la caillou en parmi l'autre bagarre nous voulons répéter nous dit ici nous pas obligé qu'à faire mais nous n'y pouvons faire parce qu'au cas où on comprend les mondes têtes yo dit yo pas qu'à comprendre changer le point ministre l'a dit, place l'an pays a kaye fèmè pour an 24 an nè ditan, jis a tan yo bay permission pour moun sot dor. La nan chay bagay moun sam ka oublie. Ek nou kaye vie wepete se bagay sa. Moun ni pou wete la kayou. Wete kayou. Ou pa si pose kite kayou pou ale la kay vajinaj ou pies kote. Wete kayou. Pa y bo l'an me. Pa y bo pies kote vè min nan pa ka mache, moun ki ka mache. Ou pa si pose a le bo la me pa li. Ou pa si pose vin ansam pou zot bwe, pa fey. Sa nou kan peche, se vè min nan si me. Nou ka fò chonje osi, se ou ni pou sot da wò, se se ou ni pies sou kou, e pi oblige a le l'opital, oblige a le health center, sa se se louezon ou sa sot da wò, e kite kayou. Se moun nan ki si pose ou e te, E ben, ou ka wè asouchi, men se moun ki ni yon pas ki ka soti hod ni mo, ki ka permite ou pou a yon um, do. Sa se se moun essential service, moun kon polis, moun kon dokte, moun ka tavan media, se moun sa e ni mo jabay, se moun sa an pas, sa se sel set moun ki si pose e do wa la. Anko, gas station ki ouve, se pou bay se moun sa ki ka yon travay, ki ka moute desan, yon ka bay se moun sa yon pas pou yon menm pe mette e e gas an dan machin yo, kon apou yo sa kontinue travay la. Chonje an kome se nou ka we pete se bagay sa, pas se, se pa moun se mamay, men nou vle moun kopan, pli nou sa we te kay nou, pli vemin sa nou sa chebey, epi nou sa kontolei. Lot bagay lan kay sa, sou san fama, nou ka ese di moun, sou we, 
Fama permite pour aïe d'or, 5 heures bon matin pour juste 4 heures. Yoka permite Fama, parce que vous bien savez, Fama ni pour aïe place qu'on sait, euh, hôtel là, qui n'y sait moun, euh, nous, yoka aïe l'hôpital là. Quand moun ni pour manger, c'est Fama, yoni, euh, euh, les gymio, yon bagay, yon zanimo yo, yoni pour attendre, euh, pour, euh, c'est moun ça. Quand mais c'est, quand ouais, nous ici, ya, c'est ça, nous ka discuter, nous ka bao information, et nous ka kwe, nous ka souhaite ou, mais c'est, tout bagay qui a marché bien, mais nous n'y pour coûter. Coûter ça qui a allé. Quoi, nous avons discuté, à un moment, nous avons ouvert l'ing, à un moment, nous avons plus d'informations. Mais bon matin, samedi, ça, nous avons fait une discussion qui a continué. Moi, ici, et puis, M. Léon, c'est plutôt nous. Et nous avons discuté, et bon information qu'on nous a donné pour vous même, pour savoir ça qui a allé, l'ing pour faire, et puis, ça fait COVID-19. Carlton, another thing I think mm. we should emphasize is um, the frontliners, respect from, ah, for the frontliners, the mm -hmm. essential services. If you could just um, um, speak on that. Um, mm. I, I, I heard reports of persons um, just taking over a, a, a truck yesterday. Mm -hmm. Tony, mm -hmm. yes. any, any mm -hmm. truth to that? We have to confirm whether yes. that is true or not. But just to reinforce, Force, you know, the, the fact that we need to respect the persons who are out there yeah. risking their lives, oui. you know? Mm -hmm. Et, euh, ça, ça c'est un, un, un bon point, euh, mm -hmm. Léon Skamene là. Et qui a dit, nous avons des gens pour apprécier ces gens, respecter ces gens qui doivent là. Et ça nous crie essential services. Ces gens doivent là qui mettent la vie en risque. Ces gens doivent là qui traiter les gens qui sont malades. Ces gens doivent là qui mettent manger à côté de nous ensemble pour distribuer. Nous avons dit, messieurs, dames, vous-même, le gouvernement n'a jamais demandé qui nous étendit dedans. Mais quand même, l'animal qui ne peut pas manger, l'animal qui a demandé qui t'a eu un caca dans le niveau, qui t'a eu un manger, comment est-ce que tu manger ça bas L'animal qui a eu trois minutes de rapport qui a braqué en machine, en bossaide, en machin, nous avons pour conformer ça. Et puis, c'est mon nom point tout ces bagailles là. C'est mon nom vini avec point. Ces bagailles là, ils sont supposés distribuer à bon dimanche à présent. Côté nous caler, là on est dans situation qu'on a. Là nous ha le gouvernement jamais mis en place. Limoa, toi yon yon pour couiller. Nimo la ka mettre manger ensemble. Et qu'on attend un incident là yon truck yo braqué et point c'est bail là. Nous ka conformer mais nous ka attendre parole ka parler. Dis-moi monsieur, police, c'est mon ka ta high fire service, docteur, nurse, security, c'est mon ka mettre manger ensemble, ka d'être corps, Nimo c'est pour comprendre ces gens qui sont devant, là ils viennent pour combattre 20 000 ans. Ces gens qui là, mais c'est nous qui avons dit, nous qui avons plaidé pour, et nous qui avons dit merci à même voir pour ces gens qui ont sorti dehors, ces gens qui ont mis la vie en risque pour aider situation, et nous qui avons fait pour aider la situation, et nous qui avons fait ça, nous supposons faire pour combattre 20 000 ans. Thank you, Carlton. Just to make a, 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 a statement uh, from, coming from SLASPA, we have a press release coming from SLASPA, um, dated 4th April. Changes for air and sea cargo operations. As per the issued directives of the government of St. Lucia, in response, in relation to its response to COVID-19, the air and sea ports and related businesses remain operational with variations to its pr procedures. During the imposed 24-hour curfew period from 5 a.m. Wednesday, April 1st, 2020, to 5 a.m. Wednesday, April 8th, the St. Lucia Air and Seaports Authority, SLASPA, will work with the relevant authorities to ensure the following. Cargo vessel operations will continue as scheduled. Air cargo operations will continue at both airports within the established aerodrome operational hours. Uranor International Airport, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. And George F.L. Charles, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday. The aerodrome at uh, the George F.L. Charles Airport is closed on Sunday and Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. The delivery of both air and sea-related cargo will be limited to the essential services as identified by the National Emergency Management Office, NEMO. The authority will extend the free storage period of all cargo at Port Castries and view for it to coincide with the duration of the above curfew period. Consequently, authorized personnel who will be transacting business at these locations are mandated to adhere to the established social distancing and sanitizing protocol. For more information, if you want to get more information with regard to the new uh, air and sea cargo operations, we advise that you call the 
728-4775 for the seaports department and for the airports department we we tell you to call the 7284869 number i will be repeating this notice coming from the senusha air and seaports authority uh, for now i turn over to tony who has a, an update from the world health organization yes um jesse but before i go into that let me just acknowledge all of our viewers via social media facebook we um, getting some questions and comments. Um, one person, Earl Bruno, um, St. Lucia people, my sister country, keep cool because we don't know how long we're going to be in this. For s keep calm and be there for each other and let's love. Um, we also had a query about the pharmacies. We have been reporting that the pharmacies at the various wellness centers, they will remain open during this period. And the hospitals. And the hospitals as well. We're asking persons um, while you join us on Facebook, maybe you could just let us know where you join us from because we know we have viewers and listeners all over the world. And um, yesterday, the World Health Organization launched the hashtag Health at Home Challenge. We now um, focus on this. Many of you watching this are now at home to protect your health and that of those nearest you. But there is much you can do to stay healthy at home, like eating a healthy and nutritious diet, avoiding sugary drinks, not smoking, and being physically active. Take a walk if you can go outside, do an online workout or yoga, and don't sit in the same position for long periods. Getting up and moving for at least three minutes several times a day helps. Caring for your mental health is also key. You can do this by talking with people you trust, listening to music, reading a book, or playing a game. And that was the hashtag Healthy at Home Challenge launched yesterday by the World Health Organization. We have been seeing over the past um, few days and weeks, you know, several persons um, putting things out there, even our own St. Lucian entertainers like Afa Ale, Ronald Bohingson, just engaging the viewers, you know, the platform, their fans, as to, you know, what you could do while you're at home. And there you have one of those things. It's a very good time, you know, to practice healthy eating, healthy lifestyle, while you may not be able to go to the gym or go for long walks or go to the beach. Um, there are several exercises that you could do even within your own households. And just a reminder, um, we, again, the days away, the days are going, Carlton, mm -hmm. we're not even aware that we're still in the Lenten season, mm -hmm. which was a period <laughs> where we used to practice, you know, yeah. fasting and abstaining mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. certain Definitely. foods. Tomorrow, incidentally, is Palm Sunday, Sunday. and then yeah. we're going to Holy Week next week. Yeah. Et puis, eh, 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 parmi ça, nous avons discuté avec ces un point eh, Tony fait qui bien bon là. Et eh, ma même quoi, mon gars changé nous en tant qu'aouem. Eh, là, il vient pourtant ça, c'est un temps où ça, mon gars veut pour manger ma cuio yo, mon gars veut pour si on calait dimanche pas qu'à l'église. Pak côté uh, monga tuer les animaux et il y a des camouches nos manières vermines ça j'a affecté nous toutes à dans une manière ben l'autre et là sous tes cas bien fait aussi nous jouons tu as la qui a sorti WHO organisation qui est responsable pour santé et qui a dû point opportunité ça pour être caillou pour trouver invention pour côté où ça où ça a metté tant ou ni à dans en bonne manière you can do some exercise. You can do some manière pour marcher au lieu de caillou. Une manière pour commencer à manger à d'un manière qui caille chez nous en santé. Il y a un bagage aussi. Nous qui voulons et nous discuter là, nous déjà parlé dit. Où qui peut-être caille ni information les vini pour oui mais d'où nous voulons savoir d'ici si on ni prescription et qu'on brise un oui mais pharmacie où ça allait mais on ni pour ni prescription ou pe ay achete oui mais dou mais pa ni ka le di ou vlan prescription ça c'est sou ni ek sou nan sou kou ek ou brisen ay achete nou ka fò ou sav ki ou sa le achete oui mais c'est ben kouye docteur ben encore c'est pour ça li mwa la toi yon yon ou pe kouye ek yo ka ba ou conseil ki manye ou pe fè ça certainly um coke and again just reminding persons the pharmacies at the hospitals and the various wellness centers these pharmacies are open. You will be able to access those pharmacies. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. I know persons have concern about being out there and being um, accosted by the police. Mm -hmm. um, let's face it, folks. It's a situation of proper communication. If you show the police or the relevant authorities your prescription, mm -hmm. they will allow you to proceed mm -hmm. to the pharmacies within the various health um, services and um, the health centers as well as the hospitals. Mm -hmm. um, we have persons on Facebook asking about um, the private doctors. As you know, all of these services have been shut until further notice. So it is mm -hmm. only the pharmacies within the wellness centers and the national hospitals which will remain open within this period. Jesse? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, we do have uh, the minister, the Honorable Minister Mary Isaac, Minister for Health and Wellness. We will be speaking to her in just a moment. Uh, but in the meantime, I want to read out a press statement on local and regional examinations. And that, that uh, press statement is coming from the Department of Education, Innovation and Gender Relations. The Department of Education, Innovation and Gender Relations wishes to share the following decisions and updates on the local and regional examinations. Minimum standards test, common entrance examinations, Caribbean secondary education certificate and Caribbean advanced proficiency education CAPE. In terms of minimum standards tests for grades 2 and 4, if you have children in grades 2 and 4 at the primary school level, these examinations have been cancelled for the year 2020. The school-based examinations prepared by the students will be moderated during the first term of the new academic year 2020 to 2021 and reports forwarded to the schools. In terms of common entrance examination, if you have a child who at the primary level is in grade six preparing for common entrance this year, June, this examination will be administered after the Ministry of Health and Wellness deems it safe to do so. Sufficient time will be allowed after that pronouncement to afford students and teachers time to prepare academically and psychologically for the examination. The format of the 2020 exam, the Common Entrance 2020 exam, will comprise solely the multiple choice components. The Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate, CSEC, that's from CXC, and the Caribbean Advanced Proficiency Examination, CAPE, discussions are ongoing with the Caribbean Examinations Council, CXC. Information will be provided when decisions are finalized. A follow-up statement will be made when timelines become more definite. Queries on the aforementioned matter should be addressed to the website EEAU Secretary at education.gov.lc. And while the um, guys, the, the ministry has made the statement of local and on local and regional examinations being interrupted due to the COVID-19 response, I mean, it is important to advise and, and to engage your children at home. Mm -hmm. It's not a time, yes, they can play and they can have a good time, but it's also important to remind them that, hey, this is the situation education-wise. It's good to keep yes. abreast. Um, I believe the Ministry of Education did put out some links that the children yes. can access uh, to be able to stay abreast with their 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 um, their school work so if they are preparing for common entrance examination as stated here this um, common entrance examination will be administered when the Ministry of Health and Wellness deems it okay so we have no timeline for the common entrance examination so um, parents out there guardians it is best to every now and then every day if your, your son or daughter could just sit down and do a little bit of schoolwork so that the information that they have started learning in preparation for their minimum standards test, in preparation for common entrance back in from September all the way to February, it is not lost on them because they've stayed home for so long and gotten caught up in perhaps your own activities of perhaps baking and watching television shows and Netflix and what have you. There is also a time to uh, practice their 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 schoolwork, their, their formulas, their mathematics formulas, and so on. Yes, most definitely. And like you said, over the last few weeks, the Ministry of Education had put out a list of learning platforms, um, online links that you could go to get various programs that your, the children could be engaged in. And even at a higher level, just yesterday, I saw the Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association. They put out a link via Facebook where persons who are interested in doing an online course in tourism. Interesting. And that could be accessed free of charge. You know, so there are several things that persons could do whilst at home. I know we were talking offset just yesterday about mm -hmm. 
you know, the new generation, the young persons, the common word, you know, mommy, daddy, I'm bored, you know, <laughs> even if all the gadgets and so on. But I think it's an opportunity now for us to engage those younger persons as much as possible, you know, do fun things with them, you know, read with them. Some of us don't know when last we read a good book, you know, it's a good opportunity to catch up on books we've been planning on reading for years now and we've not done so. Read with those children, you know, watch interesting programs sometimes with them, you know. Turn away from the news, you know, stay tuned to NTN, by the way, but turn away from the CNN sometimes and, you know, all the negativity and just focus on something positive and do some uplifting things. I just want to respond to a couple of comments. Um, someone was asking, someone from Texas asking about consultancy via the phones. Again, a few weeks ago, I think the St. Lucia Medical and Dental Association, they did put out something saying that some of the doctors accessible via phone so your private doctors um you you would know you would have those numbers so you can access those doctors via phone someone was asking as well about sending something to st lucia via felix i know some of the online ordering companies they were open as of last week some of them one day per week but now that the country is on a 24-hour lockdown i know for sure that um persons would not be able to access you know felix or some of the other services um, so if there's anyone from FedEx out there, maybe they could send us a press release as mm -hmm. to when they will resume, when the country is open, how things are going to happen, how are they going to operate, and then we will provide our listeners, our viewers, with that information. We also get in lots of comments and calls, and Roger, who's here with us, could probably give us some info on that person that asking how could they volunteer with Red Cross and NEMO. Right. So if we could get some of those numbers, if persons out there want to volunteer with NEMO and Red Cross, how they could access that service, we will be giving you that update when we come back a little later or as soon as we have that information, Jesse. Thank you. Well, passing on to Carlton, <laughs> uh, based, okay. on, based on the, the information in terms yeah. of the Ministry of Education and uh, mm -hmm. students not knowing when they will return to school, when they will be able to sit their examinations, still keeping abreast with their schoolwork. Mm -hmm. um, uh, merci encore et uh, là uh, nous voulons deux informations qui ga vinn encore premier pas nous ni uh, slaspo ga sa slaspo uh, yo ha meté information do là et puis ça uh, yo vlo save c'est en connexion pour tout ça qui ga fait et puis pays a uh, fermé pour uh, temps gouvernement jadia yo ja fait adjustment pour opération yo uh, parmi bagay yo vlo save c'est uh, lay vini pour uh, opération à présent uh, commencer uh, depuis temps uh, Place là, puis il y a tout fait quoi en bas, 24 ans d'état sous caution ça, date qui y ouvre ou ça, y aurait continué ou s'ouvre bateau qui quand toi qu'on a l'habitude, mais là il vient pour opération y ouvre, y ouvre ou ça, là il vient pour y renouer un vieux fort, là opération et activité à la car commencé à 10 heures bon matin. Pour 6 heures soir et pour les venir pour la vigie castui opération a commencé même les à 10 heures bon matin pour 6 heures ça c'est lundi à les vendredi yo kaido yo fermé les venir pour samedi et puis dimanche trouver quoi aussi notifier les venir pour ni marchandises qui quand tuer par avion et ben par bateau ça yo même quand avec ca permité ces marchandises qui a trouvé quoi a identifié et puis approuvé par nimo ça c'est marchandises nimo qui brisé marchandises nimo quoi nécessaire pour entrer en pays à à part de ça yo vle dou là où qui vini souple toute régulation yo ni là eh, toute bagaille yo mettez en place pas dit temps ou là c'est pour yo kamado souple pour payer attention pour lui et eh, suivre lui pas dit temps y en place à part de ça aussi yo kadou eh, dat ki là il vient pour place information ou ka il et eh ben ou vle si là na bagaille pas bien comprendre yo kadou eh, là il vient pour eh, département qui responsable pour eh, bateau avec baïla mais ou pe kouye yo li mois c'est 7 de 8 4 7 7 5 et puis là il pour ce département airport yo ka fo sav li moa ou pe kouye c'est 7 de 8 4 8 6 9 quoi ni mo ka fo sav ou pe pas excusez-moi cela c'est pas ka fo sav ou pe kouye yo là il vini pour ça aussi nous ni information avec moi ka ba ou ça en petit à petit à là il vini pour éducation yo ja dou pour ou ki ni mamai ka fait si ex si mamai ki en guard 2 et 4 
C'est ma maïs a eu une information, elle est venue pour examination, ça y a cancelé, décision y a pris. Tout ça, qui est venu, nous avons une information, ça, euh, combien ça, nous avons espéré pour parler par le ministre, en euh, Mary Isaac, euh, tout le monde qui est responsable pour la euh, santé, quand on a été pli, nous avons continué à faire information, quand nous avons venu. Yes, thank you very much, Carlton. Before we head on to the call with uh, the Honorable Minister for Health and Wellness, Mary Isaac, I just want to outline the COVID-19 response timeline. Um, on the 29th of March, we got five new COVID-19 cases, 31st, four new COVID-19 cases. Officials were concerned that the rate of transmission was due to the non-compliance by certain members of the public, and so national shutdown measures were put in place. And since then, the Ministry of Health and Wellness has been working assiduously to help to, to, to curb the, the spread of COVID-19. We are now uh, joined on the phone line with uh, the Honorable Minister for Health and Wellness, Mary Isaac. Good morning, Ms. Isaac. Good morning, Ms. Isaac. Okay, uh, we seem to be having some technical difficulties, but uh, again, the timeline, five new COVID cases and four new COVID-19 cases confirmed last week, and officials concerned that the rate of... Um, Transition, transmission, sorry, was due to non-compliance by certain members of the public as uh, the local transmission was established by patient nine. And very disturbing news at that point, the Prime Minister decided to uh, proceed with a national shutdown. We are now joined by the Honorable Minister for Health and Wellness, uh, Honorable Mary Isaac. Good morning, Ms. Isaac. Senator Isaac? Yes, okay. Um, Good morning, fellow solutions. I am the Minister of Health and Wellness, and this morning I am calling on all of us to play our part and stay home. Unless it is absolutely necessary for you to be out in public or out of your home, you need to stay home. We have heard that right now we have 13 cases, and of course these cases are isolated and we are monitoring their progress. Everybody seems to be doing very well, so we are hoping that the trend continues along those lines and we do not have any mortality from this dreadful disease. If you are an essential service provider or part of the protective services or a frontline worker or provider, we are asking that you please wear a mask to protect yourself, to protect your family and friends, and to protect other fellow citizens of our country. The mask is to protect you as well as others around you. However, whatever mask that you are wearing, it must cover your nose and your mouth, and you must dispose of the mask properly so as not to spread germs that may have collected on the mask. We are asking all citizens to keep washing their hands properly, wash it with soap and water, and wash them regularly. Also to use an alcohol-based sanitizer whenever that is possible. We need you to please continue to practice social distancing. Social distancing means you have to stay about six feet distance from the next person or persons you may encounter in public or at work. That is if you must be at work. You need to try and maintain the six feet distancing so, so, so that you are practicing the social distancing protocol. The Ministry of Health and Wellness through the CMO will continue to give you updates on a regular basis. The Prime Minister also continues to keep us abreast of our situation and he will continue to do so throughout this crisis. So there is no need for us to panic or be afraid of each other, but we must practice social distancing. The best way we can remain safe is for us to stay at home. Now I know that when stores open, people are in a hurry to get essentials, and that is understandable. But rushing is putting you in conflict with that social distancing protocol. That is when all of you congregate together to try and get everything you can. You are putting each other at risk 
And we are asking you to please remember that you must stay six feet, at least six feet away from each other. You need to try and maintain that for your protection as well as for the protection of the people around you. So when we ask that the stores open for a little while, be it normal hours or not, we are asking for your indulgence. We are going to do things so that we can ensure the majority of our people get service. However, remember, we are faced with a deadly disease that we have to put measures in place to protect you and the entire public, all our citizens in St. Lucia. So this is for you out there, for the public, as well as for everybody else. We are not asking one person to make a sacrifice while other people are not required to do so. This is for every St. Lucian, every person in St. Lucia. It is extremely important that you follow the protocols, follow all advisories very closely, continue to wear your mask, and above all, stay home as much as possible. Senator Isaac? Yes. You're finished with the statement, yes? Yes, I am. Okay. I just want to wish all the people of St. Lucia a very happy um, Saturday, happy weekend, and may God bless us all. Thank you so much. I just want to ask a, a quick question. Um, we just got word of the Extraordinary Gazette uh, issued on Friday for the 30, 113 Cuban medical doctors, nurses, and biomedical engineers cleared That's to right. work in St. Lucia. Can you give us an update on what it took to, 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 to have them working so soon? An update on? An update on the Cuban um, medical team that's now in St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. They have been cleared. Yes, yes. Can, can you give us more yes. information on that? Yes. The Cuban medical team, they have been cleared to work in St. Lucia. That is, their credentials were received and they have been cleared to work. But I want to um, remind the public, remind everybody that they, were, uh, they are under seven-day quarantine. And um, they will start work as soon as the seven-day quarantine is over. Um, I want to take this opportunity to thank the government and people of Cuba, the workers that they have sent here to assist us. As a, as a fellow brother or sister country, they have always assisted um, St. Lucia, and they are continuing to do so at a time of crisis when, you know, most others were not able to come to our aid, and of course, understandably so. So we are very, very grateful to the government and people of St. Lucia for... Um, the assistance that they are rendering to us at this time of crisis. I also want to take this opportunity to thank the many workers, frontline workers, my doctors, my nurses, my workers at the Ministry of Health, my permanent secretary, my new deputy permanent secretary, our prime minister, and all the people who are now putting health first, all the citizens who are um, practicing the protocols, and so many of our people who are very understanding at this point in time. I want to thank the workers and volunteers at NEMO who are doing an excellent job. And I know that they, they, they are not perfect. They are dealing with a system that they've never had to deal with before. I know that they will, as time goes by, they will iron out a lot of the issues that they are having. And people will start getting the packages. You know, the other people out there who have not been serviced, I ask for their patience and um, assure them that packages will reach them very soon. And you know, they, they need not panic. We are doing the best we can. And I want to thank all the people of St. Lucia who are putting their best foot forward in helping us to deal with this crisis. The media houses, yourself, you have been very, very helpful. We are, you are helping us to get the message across. And we are very grateful for that, that you are playing your part as well. So thank you, everyone. Senator, uh, can you just tell us about your experience uh, for the uh, COVID national shutdown? Well, my personal experience is that I have stayed home as much as possible. I only go out there when I have to. But for the most part, I use my telephone a lot. 
I have um, given my my number out as part of the 311 hotline because we know that there are a few issues with the 311 hotline. So what I do is when people call, I take the messages and I pass it on to Nemo. And that has been working well to a certain extent, but I know that Nemo is really backed up. So I have to, sometimes I don't get through, I just keep trying until I do. I also submit the request through email to the, the, the Nemo email address that I was given. So that is working out extremely well. I get a lot of calls from people, people who are in distress. I, I do my best to connect them. I call on my other fellow ministers. If it is from their constituency, I call on them and they provide some assistance as much as possible because we must remember that we have to um, stay home. We have to practice the protocol as well, even if we are ministers and the people who are providing goods and services, they too have to practice the protocols. So my personal experience is that it is very difficult, but we have to remind ourselves that this is not going to last forever. This is a sacrifice that we must make so that we can save the people of our country. When I look at the statistics in the United States where they're saying they're expecting um, over 200,000 deaths from that virus, and I know that we are only 170,000 people, that really scares me to think that a whole, an entire population, our entire population can, can get wiped out with this virus. So this is how important it is for me as a parliamentarian to understand that I must stay home as much as possible and reach out to the people who are already out there, like Nemo, they have things in place to allow them to do the work that they, they have to do. Uh, so for that, I am very, very grateful because in a way they are protecting my life as well. By risking that. their own life, they are protecting my life. Sorry about that. I understand that cabinet has been convening virtually. Uh, can you comment on the contributions of your your contribution in terms of your ministry, in terms of making the economic stimulus package happen, the COVID rescue package happen? Well, my ministry is really the ministry giving the technical advice in terms of um, even we, when you're looking at nutrition and uh, our education unit and so forth, to, to, to say what goes into these packages as much as possible. And um, of course, the advisories from CMO is helping us to, to know what exactly is career. out there, what Especially we are faced with in terms of the 13, you know, the 14 cases and so on. So we have a level of input. But by and large, this is, this is a NEMO initiative, and it is really the Prime Minister's office that we have to be very thankful for that's running, and, and NEMO themselves that's running this, this, this process. But we are giving as much support as possible through, of course, our cabinet meetings, and we meet every day online, on Zoom, and whenever else that it is necessary. I wouldn't be surprised if later today we may have a few, a few meetings we may have to meet a few times online um, to take decisions and to have discussions when we look at how things are going, what we need to improve upon, you know, the, the reports we are getting from on the ground, we deal with them as they come up. Because this is a new situation, we've never had to deal with that before. I don't think any country has ever had a, that sort of situation to deal with before. So we, we are taking it one day at a time, one from one meeting to the next, but my, my computer is up all day on Zoom, and we, we interact and meet as much as possible online. Thank you very much for that. I now hand you over to uh, Mr. Carlton Cyril, better known as Cox, and he will engage you in Creole, if you don't mind. <laughs> okay, no problem. Bonjour, bonjour, about la honorable Mary Isaac. Um, Nous juste qu'a évlé dat ko has avant chay moun ka kote ek an chay sa ou hadi a sou on ek sa menen tout ensemble ek ban nou yan dan ti mo parole sa ou ou ka tan mwen halo Ma si we si ka tan mwen Roger Go ahead Oui bon je sais qu'il est sous qu'il ça dit en dans un petit mot parole tout ça aujourd'hui à sous ça mener ensemble pour nous ça um, comprendre ça au dire en créole Moi pas moi pas entendre trop bien Ou pas entendre trop bien Moi je sais qu'il Normal Oui ça moi ne ca moi ou ca tenir moi présent Oui là ça nous qui primaire 
OK, ça moi les gars dou là pour euh um, c'est mon nom qui l'a ka coûter nous comme ça nous dans chai mon ka coûter qui peut-être pas ka comprendre tout anglais. Moi Jess Vlo um, dans mot parole en dans en banti parole sol uh, Jess dit cet lycéen ça ou quoi qui bien important pour yo savent dans tant comme ça. Mm -hmm. Ça ça moi ça moi veut dire tout monde cet lycéen bonjour bonjour. Moi, ça a l'air de tout le monde qui l'a caillé et puis il a tapé ça difficile puisque il a habitué au dehors avec des choses comme ça. Moi, je dis que c'est important que vous ayez été en dedans de la caillé. Vous êtes supposé sortir seulement si vous n'avez pas un travail, si vous êtes en protective services, et bien vous êtes en essential services, et bien vous avez travaillé en dedans de la place de la caillé à la front line. Donc, so, si vous avez travaillé et puis vous avez et puis eh bien, on agence qui a fait service en tant qu'on ça. So, si vous n'avez pas pour sortir de l'eau, pas sortir de l'eau. Si vous êtes obligé de sortir de l'eau pour un travail, eh bien, pour garder des animaux, eh bien, bah, comme ça, vous n'avez pour mettre un masque à souffrir de l'eau. Et puis, vous n'avez pour mettre sur date qui masque là qui a couvert les yeux, pas les yeux, pardon, masque là qui a couvert les yeux et puis bouche yo. Ok? Là, vous avez fini et puis masque là, vous n'avez pour déposer masque là en disant de manière qui est en ordre, so that il passe à spread plus de germs à ce monde. So, yon ni pour proposition manière, yon ka tiwe, tiwe bien, et puis jete bien, en côté dat qui il pa ka affecte personne, si ni yon à souli. Nous ka mande yon pour laver la main yon tout l'air, et puis savon, et puis de l'eau, laver constant. Et puis si yon ni yon baga yon ka di um, hand sanitizer, um, servi hand sanitizer, kon yon pe qu'on souvent qu'on y opère. Mm -hmm. Nous besoin ces mondes là pour continuer practice. Ça nous a créé social distancing. So ou pas ni pour venir pour un monde passer six pieds pour y en dans l'autre. Mm -hmm. Vous comprenez? Oui. So si on ni pour aller dans ou là, ou être six pieds um, loin y en dans l'autre. Mais ça blâne les mondes qui besoin um, assistance et puis bêtio et ben pour y en ça um, um, garder pour produire y en tant que dose qu'on com ça nous a dit que c'est juste que c'est six pieds um, uh, between yon et l'autre, mm -hmm. puisque ou pas savent qui ça l'autre moun nan ni. So, ou ni pour ça protéger kon, et puis moun nan ni pour protéger ou, ou, ou aussi. Ça, mm -hmm. um, c'est une situation nous pas jamais ni dans pièce pays avant. Mm -hmm. So, kon bagay la ka fait la, nous ka bagay ka développé, mm -hmm. nous ka manager kon nou pe. Se moun nan ki poko jwen, um, se sa nou ka ki se package la la ka yo, ça c'est 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 bah là nous qu'avons eu un de bah là c'est qui mangeait avec bah et comme ça anti l'huile anti anti um, savon anti um, fawen fans dit oui sick avec ça nous peut nous qu'avons eu mon cadio point anti temps si au point qu'on joue ni d'ailleurs qui ni mon café qu'on y opé pour y au ça service service tout le monde so type type à chez à qui vient y jouer ni au tout à l'heure mais c'est mon café qu'on y opé puisque y a pas jamais c'est ni en situation côté yo ni pour voyer bagay en tout pays a comme ça bay tout monde comme ça mais ça c'est en situation qui bien grave ça c'est un virus si il tombe saint et puis nous pas ça manager il ça tuer nous toutes qui en dans petit pays ça là c'est ça qui fait nous ni pour prendre bon précaution pour nous ça protéger yon dans l'autre et puis mettre sure chaud qui bagay ça là pas um, en tomber comme nous et puis d'autres trois que cela nous janie nous ka manager yo so dat yo pa ka spread avec nous pa vle les autres moun ki ni spread li so bon moi pour 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 um ti opportunity sa la bon moi pour moi ça di moun mm -hmm. si zot tapé zot ka santi ko hot malade et ben zot ni an moun an commune nan dat ki zot kwè pe ni covid zot ni pou kouye authorities la et puis informé yo et ben Try faire moun sa la ale a ywe dokte. Nou ni tout se klinik la ki ka ale a tcholman. Nou ha ferme do twa health center so dat nou sa pense nos la um, ki te ka twa vayan di dans se health center et pi voye yo kote nou teni Victoria Hospital avan so dat yo sa ban nou pli sovis pou lese moun sa avini so dat nou sa wè se moun sa la. Pa pwen asou kont kou pou di on moun nou kwe ki ni COVID akodi moun nan, you know, moun nan kai tchou e ban bagay kon sa. Nous pas ni pour panique, mais nous ni pour prendre précaution pour nous protéger l'un l'autre.
Et oui, merci en chef pour l'information. Je ne sais pas si je suis à côté de la parole. Je suis venu pour le sacrifice et l'expérience qui présentement nous a expérimenté. Parler de ce sacrifice, de l'importance de faire sacrifice à la nation et pour nous même qu'on s'est ici. Je ne sais pas si je suis à côté de la parole. Vous parlez de sacrifice l'ampli et bonheur. Vous dites nous ne pouvons faire un sacrifice. Mais regardez, on est parlé en titre quand les salaires viennent pour sacrifice l'an. Et oui, ils ont pour nous faire sacrifice ça. Ça me dit qu'à dire c'est là où garder ça y est qu'à dire l'Amérique. L'Amérique y a dit y a y a qu'à espérer maladie a perturbé plus passé deux millions moun l'autre pays. Bon, qui pays nous a ni moins passé deux millions moun. So, mwen ka di sent li siyen, sa se manye sa gwa mon chay. So, ti sa kwi pis la nou ka fe la. Sa kwi pis la nou ka fe, yo ka di nou weste la kay nou. Sa se yon sa kwi pis nou ka fe pou nou sa sove tout mam nou sent li si. Piske si bagay sa la tombe isi an dan gwa manye, nou pa kay sa menaje yi pies tou bom nan. So, do tou a nou ni atyolman la, nou ka menaje yo. Me nou ni pou sa pwa po kosyon, pa kite yi spread. So nou kamande tout moun set li si, fè ti sakwifis la. Moun ki ni, yo sa se pa we e pi yonan lot, sa ki pa ni. Se menm kou le nou teni Christmas Eve trop la, moun pa teni tan fini fè komisyon yo e tout sa, se te si pose se Noel, men nou tout vini ansam. E pi nou fè sa nou te pe, pou nou te sa bay yonan lot manje, pou nou sa make sure pi e son pa stav, tan nou ka espe e bagay la pa si. So mou ka kouye a sou tout set li si pou sa, même quand tu es sacrifié ça là, il peut prendre plus de temps pour ça là, puisque nous ne savons pas exactement qui ça nous a dit les pays. Mais moi, je dis, j'en sais plus, tout le monde sait plus, nous ne pouvons pas faire sacrifice ça là pour nous sauver le pays. Puisque si nous ne pas faire, nous ne pouvons pas faire la demain. Donc, c'est très important dat ki nou weste en dit dans kaye nou, moi, je dis, j'en ti boi yo, on j'y kote na weste ya yo do wo, si yo ni pou do wo, yon yon, Nou sav, yo ni pou sa menten distans la nou ka di yo a sis pie between yo nan lot. So, fè ti sakwifis la atyolman so dat nou sa ni yon peyi ki primeye nou sa ni yon peyi. Piske si nou pa peyi, nou pe pa ni yon peyi pies, nou pies pe pa la. Finalman, ou te di, ou ka wi mersi e se edoktep se moun nan, sou sa touche an le sa se moun nan ki douvan ka goumen, ka kombate ve min nan, ou te bien, mwen bien kontan pou te ten dat ki, ou ka wi mersi e paske nou ka kopan, yo menm ni problem yo, me yo fe tan pou isi a ka asiste nou, sou sa jes touche an le sa, sa se final kwesyon mwen pou. Nou ka pale abou se nokte e pi se nos la ki vini soti Cuba. Se moun nan ki te peyi yo menm, kote yo ni malad la ka di le peyi. E pi yo vini de San Sint Lisi pou sa ede nou. Sa se manye gouvernman Cuba toujou ka ede gouvernman Sint Lisi. So moun ka di nou apresye sa an chay. E pi nou se moun sa la ka y koumanse ou ka y koumanse ouwe yo ane dan health center nou, ane dan l'hôpital nou. So na di zot pou ekspek se moun sa la. Nou apresye, nou ni pou apresye sa se moun sa la ha vini vin fe, vin fe ban nou sent li si, piske si pate pou yo, mwen pa sa kouman nye, nou te kay ni a se moun pou sa mette, an di dan l'hôpital la, nou mette la pou respirasyon. So, mwen ka di nou ni pou sa mou twe dat ki nou apresye yo an chay, e pi nou ka wimersye gouvetman Kyuba. Mwen di osi, dat ki mwen ni pou di mersi, pou tout se twavaye sent li si ya, Se nos la, se dokte ya, ki la epi nou, ki ka tchebe la epi nou. Mwen vle di yo kon sa, mette abiman a sou yo pou yo sa protekte kwa yo. Pikez nou pa vle yo menm tombe epi virus sa la, piske se yo ki la ka protek nou. Ek mwen vle wi mersye yo an chay. Tout se moun nan ki ka twa vay Ministry of Health, se le zot Ministry ya, Ministry of Tourism. Mwen ni pou pwan opportunity sa pou mwen sa di mersye yon pil pou minister, minister tourism, misye Dominik Fede e pi staff li. Yo ja jos vini e pi yo koumanse gade pou se hotel laban nou pou nou sa mette se moun nan. Yo ale ay beg tout se moun nan ki ni se hotel la pou si yo sa ban nou se hotel la pou sa ede. 
c'est mon nom qui a joué dans qui a venu, qui nous ni pour quarantine. So moi je dire merci en pile pour ces mon nom ministre de tourisme, PS tourisme non, avec toutes les autres mondes, ces gens ambulance là, ces police là, ces nos là. Oh, pas côté pour ces police là, ces gens ambulance là. Nous qu'on oublie ces gens ambulance là, mon cadeau hein, ces mondes ça la café on toi bah qui m'a pipi, puisque la panie en chaillot avec Jigla nous t'es qu'à sortir Victoria Hospital, aller au KIU. Où te sa wè se moun sa la trois bay wè. Se moun sa la drive se ambulance. Lek mka dou sa actualman la ka fè bouton fwe di lebe a sou mwen. Pou wè man yè, la ni moun ki ka trois bay se ntli si pou sa empêche maladie sa afekte yo, afekte nou tout. So mwen ka wè mersye tout se ntli si ki ka ede nou. Se jan ni mou a, se moun nan midi a actualman, mwen wè yo ke ede nou, yo ke ede nou pou di tout moun pou mene pa wè la do o a dat ki nou bou zwen tout moun a m fè sa yo pe pour empêcher maladie de ça en tous les centres ici. Donc, je vous remercie tous les centres ici. Ok, ben, merci un peu pour prendre le temps pour parler. Et puis nous, nous savons qu'on même dit que j'ai un téléphone, nous avons un temps avec moi. Si vous avez un chai, vous faites. Nous apprécions tellement que les gens qui ont coûté, plus à présent, qui ont compris comment ils ont développé et le travail qui est devant nous, c'est un bagage qui est neuf. Qu'on m'aime bien dire, c'est un bagage qui n'a jamais fait avec tout le pays qui a changé de manière pour uh, manière pour uh, qui manière nous a agi et puis et bien un bon journée avec merci en chai pour qu'à crier et puis parler avec bonne information ici à sous GIS. Mm, merci en chai avec mon camarade bon Dieu béni nous tout tout Dieu saint ici merci. Ok, eh bien, merci en chai. Eh bien, là, on y a, mademoiselle, c'est plutôt ni en chai qui a fait, et moi, quand ça, on a, sénateur Mary Isaac Kadia, c'est un bagage nous de ici, c'est un bagage nous bien content, mon ton, mon y a bail à Eni, mon café qu'on y paye. C'est bailan, yo vle sorti, c'est manger, yo ka mette ensemble, ou vous moun vous mette ensemble. Et puis, moi content, il prend temps pour oui, merci. En pile de l'air, quand il m'aime bien dit, là, il vient pour ces moun nan qui ka fait, et c'est mon qui dou vent avec à combattre 20 000 ans. A pile de l'air, nous pas jamais point considération par ces mouns parce que ma kwen nous halon menon se jan ambulance la pièce. Yes, et mi yi en ek di, se moun sa travail ni kamase moun et kon yo ka fait transition, kite Victoria et puis ale oi, ok, oi, ya. I mean, nous la, ça c'est ce type bagay la. Mais il est tellement important. Il est tellement important. Quoi, nous avons bien oué, en tout ça qui a fait la messie, à délai, c'est bagay l'an qui est plus important. C'est lui ou même pas, même pas attention pour. Quoi, yon moun te dit, c'est vous mieux, nous mettez qu'on nous a dans position, puis nous fait trop, nous préparer trop, puis nous pas préparer assez. Et mon cas, j'y ai passé par exemple. And we also have to remember that whilst all of this is going on within the healthcare sector, those healthcare providers still have to attend to the regular things that are going on, the regular health emergencies that they will be faced with. In addition, what the minister said, you know, being thankful um, for the Cuban doctors being there, because at a time like this, when this thing is a global pandemic, mm -hmm. we have very few friends that we could turn to. Mm -hmm. And on that note, I would also like to point out um, that Taiwan will be donating 40,000 masks and six sets of thermal imaging body temperature detection system and forehead thermometers to St. Lucia. So again, we are very thankful, very grateful um, to the ambassador of Taiwan and the government and people of Taiwan to com for coming to our assistance at this very critical juncture, Jesse. Yeah, we want to thank uh, Ms. Uh, Senator Mary Isaac for providing us with that information. We are due for a break, but just to let you know that we want to open the lines uh, this morning, and uh, we hope that you, you can call in and give us your experience. Where, where are you calling from? Give us your experience in your neck of the woods, the measures your family has taken to ensure uh, you, the household is protected as best as possible, sanitizing, not going out, as uh, best as possible from the COVID-19. We want to remind you as we open the lines that this is a national government service uh, service program. This is a, a national nation centric program. Mm -hmm. This is a family centric program. So we, we hope that you when you do call that you will be uh, you will keep that in mind and you will be very respectful and uh, no obscenities or any of that sort will be tolerated 
on the phone lines this morning. Uh, before we go to break, just want to give another notice, discontinuation of waste collection services. In light of the 24-hour lockdown imposed by the government of St. Lucia, the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority wishes to inform the public that waste collection services will continue during the course of uh, from Wednesday, however, effective Thursday, 2nd April 2020, all waste collection services will be discontinued until further notice. So that notice there coming from the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority. The services uh, for waste collection have been discontinued from Thursday, April 2nd. Residents are asked to secure their waste at home until waste collection resumes. The Solid Waste Management Authority solicits the cooperation of all during this time in an effort to maintain a safe and healthy environment. For more information, persons can contact our WhatsApp hotlines or visit our Facebook page. So that's just information there from the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority on um, persons keeping their waste, discontinued service uh, for waste collection. Sure, no problem. Jesse, I believe that since we got that press release, mm -hmm. yesterday I got an update as mm -hmm. far as waste collection is concerned. Um, so based on the latest information I received yesterday, mm -hmm. um, it states here that they will resume effective Monday 6th. From Monday, April. yes. 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 Um, waste collection services throughout the island will be provided on a limited basis. The adjustment to the service will be as follows. There will be no collection of bulky waste, waste items until further notice. Regular waste collection will only be undertaken on the first scheduled collection day of each week. So this means, for example, in my area, collection is on a mm -hmm. Tuesday and Thursday. Mm -hmm. So next week, they'll only be collecting um, garbage on Tuesday. Um, residents of Mont Lacqua, Chozelle, Pakistan, and Saltibus will receive waste collection on Tuesdays. This schedule will remain in effect until the St. Lucia Solid Waste Management Authority informs otherwise. Okay, that update there. An updated uh, version of the press release coming from the Sinusha Solid Waste Management Authority. We are going to go to break. Uh, we want to thank uh, the Senator, Honorable Minister for Health and Wellness, Mary Isaac, for speaking to us this morning. We're going to go to a break and then open the lines thereafter. It's Power Bike Time! <laughs> You need to cover your mouth. Don't you know about the coronavirus? It's not a joke. It's a serious thing. True that. What's coronavirus anyway? The coronavirus is a group of viruses that causes the common cold. In more severe cases, it's like the flu. Really? So are you saying that this is not a new virus? No, it isn't new. It's a new strain. That's why some people say novel coronavirus. Uh. Yes, look at it like a family who just had a new baby. Oh, yes. I get it now. So how is it spread? Through the air, like coughing and sneezing, touching objects, surfaces with the virus on it, touching your face, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, before washing your hands with running water and soap. Sounds like someone has the flu or the cold. Are the symptoms the same? The symptoms are fever, coughing, sneezing, headaches, just like the flu. In some severe cases, you also have breathing difficulties and chest pains. Some persons also get pneumonia and kidney failure. And as you have heard the news, some people have died. Wow. So how do I protect myself? We have always been told to wash our hands with running water and soap. In the event there is no running water and soap, you use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer of at least 70% alcohol. Try your best to avoid touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. And in the event you need to sneeze and cough into a tissue, you throw the tissue into a bin. If you do not have tissue and you need to sneeze or cough, you do it into your elbow. Yes, I heard that. So what medications can we take? Well, as the virus is new, there is no medication or vaccine that you could really take to prevent it. What we really have to do is to practice infection control measures to protect ourselves. Hey, people! 
I need to get a sweat. Let's get moving. Let's do it, guys. So, wait, how do I get more information? Good, I have that number on Lokpal. For further information, contact the Bureau of Health Education at 468-5349, 468-5347 or 468 Let's defy limits! Woohoo! Come on! Welcome back to the broadcast. You are watching the COVID-19, St. Lucia's COVID-19 response. We are reporting to you live from the command center uh, from the studios of the Government Information Service. Uh, my name is Jesse Leonce. If you're just joining us, I'm joined in studio by Tony Nicholas and uh, Mr. Carlton Cyril, better known as Cox. And we mm -hmm. have just been having a wide-ranging discussion on yeah. what the week that has been, essentially, the timeline, the the events that have occurred in the last week, we're talking the Prime Minister's announcement, should national shutdown, the new cases uh, at the top of the week, and the curfew that has been put in effect, uh, the um, NEMO taking charge of the implementation of the shutdown, the delivery items to the poor and vulnerable, the mini-marts and the community small shops, the bakeries being allowed to open to the public Thursday, um, the petrol stations open for essential service providers and NEMO pass holders. So quite a bit has happened this week. Yes, there is a national shutdown, but there's so much work to be done in terms of uh, around it, in terms of essential service providers, NEMO, our very presence here on this live broadcast to ensure that you, the general public, uh, keep informed, to ensure that you remain safe if there's an emergency that you can be accommodated during this national shutdown. We did state earlier that we want to open the lines this morning. And as I mentioned, it's a nation-centric program we have on the GIS here right now. It is a family-centric program. So as we open the lines, we encourage you to be respectful, uh, refrain from obscenities and uh, disrespectful um, statements or comments. Just understand that we're all in this together. We're all having this same experience in trying to curb the, the threat of COVID-19 from the government of St. Lucia to the essential services, first responders, to the people who are sitting down at home. So we want to open the lines. I believe the number should be up right now. The number to call is 468-2162. 468-2162. You can call in. Let us know where you're calling from, what part of St. Lucia you're calling from. If you're calling from the diaspora, let us know what your experience has been in terms of um, you contributing to the fight against COVID-19. Do we have a call? Nothing yet? Okay. In the meantime, just want to read out a yeah. press release. We have a, we, ha we have a call. Hi, good morning. I just want to ask Cooks a question. Hello, good morning. Can you tell me where you're calling from? I'm calling from Lafay Moshi. Okay, we can't hear you in the wait. studio. Mm -hmm. You cannot so, hear me? Hold on one second. Hi, morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Can you yeah. tell me where you're calling from? I'm calling from Lafay Moshi. Lafay, what has your experience been in the, sh the national shutdown? Well, not nationally shut down. There are a lot of um, there are a few guys who, who really need support, and I have one in mind. Or he's my neighbor, and I want to find out how possible it is for me to get something for for him. Uh, is there a special day or a special time, a special area um, time for, for for every area? What support? What support does he need? Okay, we seem to have lost that call, but we will. Hello? Yeah, we seem to have lost that call, but I if your, your neighbor needs support, we can encourage, uh, advise you to call the 311 hotline. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it is that he requires a relief package, he doesn't have en enough supplies, if it is medical or otherwise, you can call any of the emergency uh, numbers because they are all in effect as well. Oper operational as well so the mm -hmm. number he can call is the 311 hotline or any other emergency service in addition jesse mm -hmm. um, a list was put out yesterday a list of contacts for distribution mm -hmm. of quarantine relief supplies so the gentleman said he's calling from lafay so that will fall under grosley so the coordinator in grosley his name is vance pilgrim and the number the direct number to call is 730 
four. That's so, so that's from the list of contacts for distribution of quarantine supplies. Okay. We have another call. Good morning, caller. Can you tell me where you're calling from? Hi, good morning. I'm calling from Lafax Chozelle. Lafax Chozelle. Yeah. What has your experience been so far? Uh, it's good. I think generally um, people are contributing. Um, people are abiding to the, to the curfew, um, to the shutdown and thing. Um, I want to compliment uh, GIS, your team, for a good job that they are doing. And I think exceptionally, I want to compliment uh, the fact that you are somewhat in Patwa. Because a lot of our audience, you know, in Saint Lucia is uh, a Patwa speaking and understanding people. So, Cox is doing a very good, very good job. Mm -hmm. um, one of the issues we have in that, in that area, upper, the upper Lafag area, we have not water for the last three days. And, um, you know, we've, one of the, the, the interventions for the, for the COVID is to wash your hands and wash your clothes and keep clean. But, you know, we've had not water in that area for three days. So I don't know what exactly Wasco is doing in, in, in our area, you know, whether they should rush and give, you know, different areas. But that's one of our major, major problems. But again, um, if you can get that rectified, generally people are abiding, people are, are coping. So I think we're doing a very good job. But I don't know if you could, you know, a plea could be made to Wasco to try to supply, you know, the different areas with water. Rather, on a ration basis, you give one area one day and, and stuff like that. But once again, I want to compliment you all. Keep on doing a good job. Thank you very much. Uh, you. I can advise you to contact Wasco directly because they are part of the essential services. And just to let persons know that... Um, you can contact them to, to try to rectify that situation of no water you're seeing for the last three days in La Fag Um But just a notice to persons, if you have been disconnected because you fail to pay your water bill, just to let you know that within this period of... Uh, COVID-19 response. The Prime Minister has indicated that you can be reconnected for free by Wasco and you will not be disconnected for the next three months by Wasco. So that accommodation is being made for the general public to ensure uh, best practices, to ensure hygiene at this time when it is most critical. So thank you very much for letting us know about this situation in Lafag and I hope that Wasco can rectify that matter in due time. Do we have another call? Not right now. Okay. So the number two call is a 468-2162. You can call in and let us know what your experience is. If you're living in St. Lucia, if you're living in the diaspora, you could let us know what your experiences are. Um, we got a message earlier on from mm -hmm. Kembert Mason um, who said, happy for all the advisories, but it should also be reinforced that disinfecting your surroundings, including your personal items like cell phones um, and other things around you. Also, everyone should work on building the immune system at this time. So some very important information coming there. We have a call. Good morning. Can you tell me where you're from? Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Okay, Hello, can you bring down the, the volume of your television set, please? Yes, I'd like to know what should you do if you need cooking gas? Uh, sorry? What should you do if you need cooking gas? Where can I get cooking gas? Uh, at, the, at the moment, the gas stations, the petrol stations are closed to the general public. Um, an opportunity was given to... Uh, to persons on Thursday, the 2nd of April, to get such supplies um, in terms of going to the mini marts and the small community shops to um, get these things. Uh, but at the moment, the national shutdown is in effect, and uh, unless it is an emergency in terms of a medical emergency, then persons are not allowed to head out at this moment. Okay, thank you. Yes. Can you tell me what else you've been experiencing? I'm sorry that you've run out of cooking gas at this point. What else What else have you been experiencing no, so far? No, I'm okay. Okay. Are you, have, you all stocked up? Staying indoors, adhering to the rules, and safety regulations. Okay. Where are you calling from? Laclary. Laclary. Okay. Thank you so much for that call. Call there from Laclary, a person calling to find out uh, how they can get some cooking gas. Unfortunately, the nation is shut down. It's no joke.
Ok, je suis mon Dieu, je voulais pour ces monnaies qui a coûté nous, qui avait nous à sous télévision, nous j'ai ouvert les noms. Les mois pour couper c'est quatre six huit D yon six D. Les mois où ça couper nous ici, à sous une pièce question, si vous voulez participer en ça car là, on peut couper nous ici à nous ouvrir les noms pour tenter ça public là, ou qui l'autre pays aussi et puis vous voulez faire contribution par ces pièces information, mais des pièces question avec les mots ça encore c'est quatre six huit de yon 6 de ou be kouye nou isi ya ek nou ka yi kon ek wepon kon nou pe se kwesyon ek konsen yon ni We have a call from Grosele Hi, good morning Yes, um, good morning um, I noticed that persons are not practicing social distancing you know, on the grocery line so um, since they're not um, following the social distancing guidelines perhaps to reduce the chance of infection everybody should be wearing um, face masks So the persons who have started making um, cotton face masks, they should try to arrange to have them available um, for sale or distribution on Monday um, when the minimats are open. Also, they can see if they can arrange to actually go directly to the lines and actually try to distribute it, you know, or sell it um, to the persons on the grocery lines. Yeah. On the what? I I First place, moi quand j'ai parlé dit c'est mon aide à présent on a chaque monde qui part à côté là il vient il y a quand des monde chaîne distance là ou si vous avez été six pieds hors d'un monde avec nous on a chaque monde qui part à côté qui est assemblé qui vient ensemble quoi c'est mon sang ouis casse mais vers maintenant quand il a dit il a écrit qu'il y a un bon bagage si l'un des monde qui a produit masse et ben qui j'ai ouis ouvrir ces masse là il y a un bon bagage pour faire avoir libre lundi si il y a vu parce que l'autre date la place là si vous avez ouvert avec moi Okay. We have another call? Not yet, okay. Uh, Tony, you were just making the point of um, hygiene. Some, yes. Somebody making a, a point of that on the Facebook Live. It is important, even though you're home and you're you know, away from the general public and your family is small, it is still important to sanitize your immediate surroundings, your kitchen countertops, your, your, your bathroom. It's Lacto. good. Yeah, you, you should. Telephone. Yeah, your cell phones. You'd be mm -hmm. surprised how many germs are on the surface of your cell phone, how whenever mm -hmm. you receive a call, the um, devices that your children use. We have the, the kids with the tablets now. You know, they, they would sneeze on it. You do not know what germs are being transmitted. It's always good to practice good hygiene in respect Okay. to that we have oh. a call from south carolina hello good morning good morning good morning uh thanks for taking my call you guys are doing an excellent job thank you am i on yes you're on hello go ahead caller yeah um, i just want to um compliment you all doing such a great job and um, for the Prime Minister setting up this um, government information yeah. service because it helps to counteract a lot of false information. And again, I'm proud that you all are emphasizing the fact that we need to respect the police and respect the laws during this COVID situation right now. And I notice a lot of people on talk shows are jumping on this. This is very good because they are protecting us. And I also want to say, I want to ask Carlton Cyril, how did he learn to speak that word for free? <laughs> Fluently, fluently. I have, I, I'm impressed by the way he speaks the Creole. I'm telling him his big brother loves him. Thank you. So before you leave, I just want to get a quick comment from you. What do you make of all of the uh, social media citizen journalists um, uh, commenting, weighing in on this COVID-19 situation, the conflicting opinions on, right now on social media? We, we lost that caller? Okay. Uh, well, Carlton. <laughs> <laughs> Re respond to what the gentleman <laughs> asked. How, <laughs> where did you learn? How did you learn to speak your Creole so fluently? Let me know. I'm sure you're going to see what you have to do. I'm sure you're going to see what you have to do. I'm sure you're going to see what you have to do. And I'm sure you're going to see what you have to do. I'm going to see what you have to do. But even if you have to do that, you have to do that. It's the one who has to do that. You have to do that. You have to do that. C'est un bail nous apprend à lever nous tous. Euh, il même c'était un parmi les gens qui étaient entré, sorti en caille là, où était côté de maman nous. Quoi, maman, c'est tata, c'est lui. Euh, nous ne pouvons pas dire que c'est les gens qui étaient nous. Nous lever et puis euh, les gens qui ont fait Alphios. Nous lever avec les gens qui ont fait Frère Ben. Avec tous ces gens qui ont fait un créole et puis ça nous a fait un check à pêche là. Euh, là, nous avons un monde à souligner, Hod Kanawi. 
Euh, merci beaucoup, Yé. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour. Um, concern, I have my neighbor who's ill. He has some mental issues. And we cannot get his medication. He had a scheduled appointment to see the doctor, but because the country is closed, he couldn't go. Um, but he's in need of his medication, and we went to the pharmacy at the wellness center. It was closed. So can you can you tell me what to do? How do I get the medication? How do I get him to see a doctor? Um, you can call. You have the, the mental uh, the wellness centers. Okay, available. We, we can advise you to call uh, for appointments and clinical concerns. You can call 458-5952. So you can call that number, 458-5952, to get more information uh -huh. on uh, how you can uh, assist your neighbor right now. Because it is an emergency and accommodation will be made in, in, in that regard. Okay, then. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Call there coming from uh, an individual calling from Miku, wanting to know what to do in time of this uh, of a medical emergency for her neighbor. And so, with that, I'm just going to read out a press release: changes to operations at the Saint Lucia National Mental Wellness Center due to COVID. The management of the Saint Lucia National Mental Wellness Center continues to actively monitor the developments related to COVID-19. To this end, we would like to inform the general public that the outpatient clinic will be postponed for two weeks, mm -hmm. commencing Wednesday, 1st April to Friday, 10th April. Okay. Any patient who is due for an urgent review will be contacted by the staff of the facility. Patients with valid prescriptions which need to be refilled can access the hospital pharmacy on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. In order to minimize person-to-person -person contact and to control the spread of COVID, we will limit the number of persons who can access the pharmacy daily. For further information, appointments, please call the following numbers, 458-5374 or 5375 or 458-5376. Clinical concerns, please call 4585952. We have a call on the line. Hello. Hi, good day. Can you tell me where you're calling from? Mr. Cox. We are hot grass street. Banton. Who go hand supply me? Who go hand supply you? No. Who to cook your hot? Who go hand cook your limo? Zot ni buni boska transport si baiza. Oui, mais ça nous voulons comprendre, c'est la vie, la nuit choc, il y a des bagages là, mais au niveau de la vie, il y a des bagages, tout le monde s'est choc là, moi même t'es côté ni moye, et c'est choc là qui a sorti un chai moun jaoui souvre, mais ça moi vle m'a dit ou lancé, comment nous parlez bai, et qui joue parlez bai yo? Oui, c'est pas ça, c'est là pour moi. Côté, Matan? C'est pas pour ça, c'est là pour communication. Oui, oui, nous là-bas, ça m'a dit que c'est Limo, Jala, hier au Tekaitan, nous dit Limo, Nimo, Jani, Lis Moun, là, nous c'est des gens qui étaient allés à l'Islam, c'est des gens pauvres, des gens qui ont été infimités, avec des gens qui ont brisé, avec des gens en communauté, à ceux qui ont contacté, nous avons toutes les informations, ça, ça m'a dit que nous avons 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 Dis ça encore? Pas où qui a mis de moi sur l'islam? Non, ce n'est pas moi qui a mis de moi. Si vous avez une assistance, vous avez une assistance. Vous avez une assistance. Vous avez une eh bien, oui, euh, c'est bagay là nous qui a fait là. On a toujours tout fait ça qui a fait. Ça nous a fait un euh, conseil pour faire. C'est couiller les mots, toi, yon yon. Et nous avons dit aussi que le gouvernement local là, qui a travaillé et puis la communauté, si ces gens ne sont pas les gens, ils 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 ne sont pas les gens. Mais ce n'est pas la première request que vous avez venu à votre côté, hein? Non, non. Oui. Nous avons un appel maintenant de Grosely. Good day. Hi, good day. Hi, can you tell me what your experience has been so far during this national shutdown? Um, well, in, um, in terms of uh, myself, I, 
I'm a lupus patient. However, I ran out of some of my medications. And um, what I run out of the health centers or the hospitals do not carry it. I usually get it from Massey. And Massey is closed, and I really need to get my medication. So what's been put in place for people like me? Because it is available at Tapio. From what I get, Tapio is open, but Tapio price is like five times the price of Massey. And Tapio is very far from me. So what? how do I get that? Who do I call? What do I do? Uh, quite an interesting dynamic the situation that you have raised there. Um, I can encourage you, if you go on our Government, of in, government Information uh, Service page, uh, Facebook page, you can uh, look at the list of clinical numbers that you can call and seek advice with regard to that. We can't um, give you anything definitive from this um, panel, but we can advise you to call any one of the clinical numbers. I believe they're anywhere between 10 to 15 numbers yes. there that you can call. Mm -hmm. So just go on our Facebook page, just scroll a little lower below um, our Facebook Live be on, the, on the timeline of the Government mm -hmm. Information Service Facebook page, and you will see the list of numbers that you can call. Call any one of them and ask for some information based on your unique situation. Okay, I've tr I'll try. I'll have uh, called a few numbers to know available. I'll keep on trying, I guess. Okay, okay. Um, Egbomo just this and um, 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 on our um, spider uh, Leonard Montu, it is here. It is here on the limo, my guy Bali, a peu peu, deux ans c'est limo ça, na y bai un seul phone et puis un limo, limi ça couille, et on a c'est limo y bai, c'est quatre cinq zéro, zéro sept trois un, four five zero, zero seven three one, et ben il ça couille sept 3D 732 3297. Uh, ça, c'est l'IMO um, uh, on uh, Spider Leonard Mont tout qui est ici. Et même ici, 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 from someone from Wasco. We had a question about Wasco in Chosel. Wasco is working on water issues. As you may well imagine, there's a high demand on the water system at this time with several persons being at home. But according to the official from Wasco, they are working to restore service to all parts of the island as we speak right now. Et bien là, M. Outenni, là, il vient pour conseiller les GLO et puis euh, Moasco. Moasco a dit qu'il y a un travail sur le côté qui peut être euh, pas ni GLO, et qui euh, a expérimenté des difficultés pour un GLO. Il y a un travail là, il a dit qu'il y a bien ça. Tout le monde là, quand il y a présent, ou pas, il a dit qu'il y a un GLO, tout le monde a servi. Et juste un instant, ça nous a dit, monsieur, eh, prenez précaution, eh, faites ça au café, eh, um, et puis, eh, bon raison, mis-y, oui. A de la yon pa vle di sou vle servi toilet webe alan ba froum nan. A de la ou sa yon ou pa oblige a le brou flochan toilet e pi gloa. Paske pa ditan nou menm ni gloa sou yon sa yon la ni moun ki pa ni. Kwa a wasko jadi yon katwa vay a sou situasyon pou moun ki pitet ki pa ni gloa an plas yon. Nou nan moun asou leng nan hot good lands. Mersi pou gouye. Halo? Yes, Cook. Morning, morning. Bonjou, bonjou. Morning to your colleagues there. Um, I heard a few callers ago um, asking about um, uh, cooking gas and so on. Um, and other things that they're asking in for. What they need to do um, is to probably contact the local disaster preparedness um, personnel um, who would be able to give them advice um, and probably uh, render assistance to them um, because some persons are complaining that they are having issues with the 311 number. But um, if they are able to contact the local disaster preparedness um, personnel, they should be able to, to get some assistance through them. Um, there's a, a lady who spoke about um, the Tapion Hospital and, and, and medication and so on. Um, I don't know if she has tried or, or contacted them about that particular medication, um, but um, through my own experience, um, there has been situations when I thought the medication was uh, more expensive at 
tapio and it proved not to be so. So um, if she has not done that, it would be wise to um, try to find out what the price is before assuming that it is um, uh, more expensive um, uh, to get medication at Tapio. Maybe the service in terms of uh, medical might be higher, but um, I, I am not so certain about the medication part. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for that, that information there. Um, as, as you mentioned, and I think we, we should call it out, just for persons who are living in the, the different areas, the various districts, uh, who are unawares as to who they can call and, and speak to directly without having to make multiple calls and waiting on lines and so on. Before I do that, uh, the young lady from Grosele who has... Uh, who called saying that she had lupus. She can call this number. We, we hope that she would have stayed on the line, but she can call 4500-731 or 732-3297. So the young lady from Groselay who says she has lupus and needs uh, medication that she used to buy at Massey, but uh, it's not available at the uh, public health center, she can call 4500-731 or 732-3297. And, uh, just to, to call out some of the numbers that you can call in the district of Groselay, you mentioned... Okay, we have a call now. Mm -hmm. Hi, good day. Can you tell me where you're calling from? The UK. Hi. Hi, Hello. good day. So I'm calling, from the, I'm calling from the UK. I'm actually on a cruise ship right now. Oh, wow. Can okay. you tell us about your uh, situation? Mm -hmm. Well, the ship has suspended operations. As you know, this is happening worldwide. And um, we were due to be sent home about two weeks ago, but then the um, restrict border restrictions were, were announced. And I've been trying to get some information as to whether there's an update as to when the airports will be open. And I'm not getting that information. I've messaged the Prime Minister on his page on Facebook several times, and that has go it has gone unanswered. So I would really like to know if I could get some info as to when the borders, the airports will be expected to be reopened in St. Lucia. Well, that we've not been furnished as yet from cabinet with that information. It, it all ties into um, when the sh national shutdown. shutdown has been lifted. Um, but as far as we are aware from the prime minister, no, nobody is being taken in. There are no incoming flights bringing in persons from other countries at this time. Uh, over 300 persons were at the quarantine facilities. The first batch were let go, and I think he did mention that some preparation would be made to, uh, for the space that has been made in terms of the first batch being let go from the quarantine facilities. Maybe there will be new persons coming in, be allowed to come in, so that they can stay at the quarantine facilities, because knowing that uh, you are coming from places that uh, have uh, several cases of, of COVID-19, mm -hmm. We'd want to take all the measures that we can as possible, as you would imagine. So the Prime Minister, uh, the government of St. Lucia is working toward that. But that information, we uh, safe to assume that it should be coming in after the na national shutdown is done. Um, just, uh, just let me just chime well, in here, I, I Jesse. Appreciate that, just but, a um, message I'm here from that we, Nicole McDonald, Office no, of the Prime Minister. Um, no cases of um, COVID-19 on that ship. Um, so that's a good thing to note. And we have no problem with coming into quarantine. But one of my issues was that special arrangements were made for people from Matnik. And because of their misbehavior, it appeared like everyone else was just shut out. And that's the issue I had with this whole thing. Okay, no, Carla, let me just inform you. I was just informed that you were asked to get in touch with the consulate in the UK. At the moment, um, arrangements are being made to bring in a number of... Um, our St. Lucians have been working on cruise ships. Something is being put in place as we speak right now. But I have been advised to ask you to get in touch with the consulate in the UK. Okay, let me see this. Um, I cannot hear you clearly, but I'm calling. Um, actually, I was listening over my phone on Facebook, and I'm calling from that same phone. So I'm going to cancel the call, and if you could just say that again, I'm going to view on Facebook. Could, could that happen, please? Yeah. Okay, no problem. All right, thank you. Yeah, so basically what I was saying, Jesse, um, I just received a message from Nicole McDonald. She had asked the caller who was calling from the UK to get in touch with the consulate in the United Kingdom because as we speak, arrangements are being made to bring those persons home, those persons who were on the cruise ship. Some of them were in quarantine on the various cruise ships. Mm -hmm. And um, now that they will be disembarking in the various ports, that arrangements are being made to get them back home safely, bearing in mind that even when they come back home, 
there may quarantine. be measures in place that they will be in quarantine when they get back home. Okay. So caller, you could call um, the consulate in the UK and they will give you the latest updates. Just by my dear call, so I could tell you about the television, MTN, GIS, la nous avons des informations qu'on nous joigne au gouvernement, station qui a bâti toute information qu'il vous a. Nous avons des lignes ouvertes au PQ et nous ici, les mois c'est 4, 6, 8, day on 6 day. Nous avons des lignes, merci pour vous prier, bonjour. Cook. Oui. Just a petit correction, mon Dieu. Oui, frère. Do where? Because more than Mary Isaac, the day million moon. Oh, oui, 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 oui. Mais ma chérie, 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 en même dit un coq, nous pas oui. ça une supplies nos vieux forts. Nous pas ça une supplies nos vieux forts. Ou pourquoi hein? Nous n'avons pas de supplies. Supplies. Vieux forts? Emergency supplies. Yeah. S, 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 ou ha fait euh, euh, ça ou supposé si faire? Non. Est-ce ou ha coulé? Oui, oui, oui. Nous avons tout ça nous supposé si faire. Eh bien, juste un petit patience nous commander. Oh. Juste un petit patience et puis ou ka y jouen euh, sa ka vina. Parce que ou ni pou d'accord ni mo et koyo yéa. Uh, ici à Kastoué pour ces trucs là et pour tout le monde voir information dedans et pour eux même agir petite situation quoi juste bon on tient uh, tant et ni patience uh, moins haut pour nous c'est bien non merci à Phil Cox non ah, ok bien bon bye 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 just uh -huh. just to, to um, let you know you may call in with your unique situation your unique cases we may not immediately have the answers but to assure you that officials are now watching our Facebook live waiting on the calls that we're receiving so that they can respond in real time as best as possible so again you will call we may not have the information immediately but if you just stay tuned after the call we will be able to provide you with an update provided by the officials who are also listening to you at this moment <laughs> Faut savoir sur une pièce conseil, sur une pièce question, ça au pays voulait savoir et demander une pièce de question nous cadeau l'année officielle qui a coûté il y a vingt ans sans mais pourquoi même si nous pas bon réponse là même mais on a rien à réponse après oui tu en écoutes pino non non mon assolé non merci beaucoup et bonjour allô bonjour allô bonjour bonjour oui bonjour um I am asthmatic and then um, I went there yesterday and looked for um, Ventolin in Yela. They tell me they might get it today, so I call him to wonder if he's there already. For me to go and look for it. But where did he go? Koto, koto wale, where, where did you go? I tell you I'm asthmatic. No, where did you go to get your inhaler? Sorry? Where, where did you go? What facility did you go to collect an inhaler? Yeah, I was there yesterday. Where? Huh? Which I'm one? The, 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 the Grosley Polyclinic? Yeah. Okay. Um, you get a Grosley Polyclinic number. Okay, caller. What I have been also been just advised, that seems if you wish, um, just leave room. your number. Cook, just take his number. No, the, the number yeah. he can call. Um, okay, had that number. I'm on Devanuli Moa. Um, I think you have it somewhere there, Jess. It. Is it the 468216229? Look two numbers? two numbers and you corrected the nine. Ah, okay, yes. Yeah. So the number you can call is 4500731. Hold on, huh? Yes. 4500731. Or you can call 732. 732. 732. Yeah. Yeah, so the number you can call is 732-3297. You got that? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for calling, letting us know your situation. Again, if you have any concerns, any queries, you can call this line right now. We we'll try to help you as best as possible. That number I just called out was the Grosley. Um, Let me tell you, repeat the last number for me again. Okay, the number is 4500. 4500. 731. Okay, all right. You got that? Okay. You got the second number? 
Okay, 732-3297. Got it? Mm -hmm. 732. Uh, and 732-3297. Seven, okay. Okay, all right. Yes, thank you very much. Someone yeah. there, an asthmatic calling from Grosile, wanting information on how he can get his inhaler from the Poly Clinic. Again, you can call in, let us know. We will try to the be uh, try as best as possible to help you, um, help put you in contact with persons who can help directly. Um, if not, uh, we, we assure you that the officials are listening and they are also trying to uh, assist with us this uh, response to the general public and their specific needs. And we just have a thank you message here from Tamika Alcid. Thank you for the assistance. Um, she says she got through and someone is going to come to get her to get her prescription um, and money to buy it for her and deliver it. So Wonderful, wonderful. This so, is great news. So, no hakawe by Katwa. Nuna Muna le Lingna Hot Swaze, a messy bukuye, bonjour. Hello, bonjour. Magakuye from Victoria, Sozel. Et nous, moi, ça, nous, nous, pour étendre dedans. La ni moun ki ni, bagay la kayo, la ni moun ki pa ni. Et puis, nous, toi, grand moun ka wet en area. Et puis, hot, um, um, ka bes, en ka spi right now, from, from program nan, ma ka ve la. Ok? Nous, happy? Et moi, ça, hot, di, kon sa, hot, moun ni pou ka espe, because, chok la, bagay, oui, ve la, a kon di, se, jet flu. Mais, la ni moun, on, 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 et puis, c'est plus, si ni pou mette bagay en place pou moun, le hot, pa le, abot, se bagay sa la, pour hot mettre ces bagages là il fait parce que grand monde est spécial qui pas ni un monde pour faire un rien bail OK so si la ni en truck ou peut ça ca ca venir pas ca suis sorti ca suis de côté ou ca sorti là ou pour moi il suppose ha oui veut parce que personne pas en sortir dehors ou pas ça aller dehors et puis faire police pour ou vous comprenez moi et cacher pour truck cacher pour bagage et puis qu'est-ce que vous dit pas ouvert en rond là Et mm. là, nous sommes tous les gens qui brisent les gens pour faire des choses, pour vous manger les choses. Donc, s'il vous plaît, qui est le choc qui vient Parce que nous sommes tous les gens qui parlent. Et puis, il y a des actions qui ne sont pas faites. Il même qui dit ça, et puis il n'y a pas de choses qui ne sont pas faites. Donc, nous voulons entendre les paroles d'autres. Oui, on oui. a fait un bon travail. Mais là, nous sommes tous les gens qui brisent. Et puis, le choc qui va arriver à tout le monde. Et puis, il y a des choses qui ne sont pas faites. Donc, si vous dites que c'est des gens qui bien brisent, qui brisent les choses. Minute truck la vini en Syria because it can't show up here right now. Oui, oui, ou ou ka pou témoin. C'est moun nan ka di situé tout bagay. Et puis, an yen pa ka vini on ou on sa. Même se de toilet pe pa bay an moun. Est-ce que ou ka pou témoin? Ou ha pale bon, bon mwen wè pon nou. Because ou ka pale. Ou pa ka mene, ou pia, mi tèt mwen do, jik tou dou ma ka wè pe stok la vini. Oui, bat, ban mwen chans pou mwen wè pon nou. Mais quoi que maman t'en nous mais s'il vous plaît qui ça au temps de dire mais ça n'a d'où là qui ça au temps de dire on va gagner en l'air et à mec sur hot mini parce que mon subject blue va arriver là one time bon moi d'où on va gagner on va parler on va on va parler bon moi je suis parlé il pas ni un tin let il pas ni un il est souple mon cousin vous y en bagaille bali il est le nous déa il est le nous déa parler ben babier Eh bien, bon, moi, je suis pour moi, oui, pour nous, ou j'ai parlé, bon, moi, je suis pour moi, pour nous. Ok, ça, 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 nous voulait dire qui est bien clair, et que, hier, le ministre de l'Intérieur, il y a parlé, ou t'en, moi, il y a parlé de Troc, là, et qui a fini, mais, changer le ministre de l'Intérieur, là, il y a des désastres préparés en place, ou, soit, il n'y a pas de la panique. Bon, là ni moun ki a sou lis le pov, là ni moun ki von wab, là ni se moun sa ak yo ja ni se non. So pou di bagay ka soti ka sou ek, kè son pa me le pi jan pa an ba, sa mwen vle moun kopan nan se, la nan manye pou fè bagay la. Nou ka dou, kouye twa yon yon, ek wezon ka y kouye twa yon yon, se si ou poko an le lis la. La nan lis kote gouvetman ka asiste moun ki pov. Kwa si misye sa ka ili moun nan ou pale di ya, poko hen sa yi ya, oblige si se moun ki pov, i si pozan le lis lan. 
si pas là un monde te pour hakouyer ou même te pour hakouyer free one one toi yon yon nan et yo ka assister ni mo ka vini et nou ka di encore ou est ce porte ya nou ka assister moun se choc la c'est pas yon choc ki ni ou ni la ni plusieurs choc mais ou ni pou sab c'est moun nan ki ka travaille encore mais nou c'est là nou ni pou mande question est-ce que yo ka fait travail yo c'est gens disas là c'est gens local uh, gouvernement local là est-ce c'est moun ça qui a sous ce comité ça yo ki ni pou prendre responsabilité moun nan ki responsable pou a bon bon anti patience prend patience il ka vini nous n'a mon assou en ligne uh, merci en chai bonjour bonjour oui moi ka kouye from timon moi ka kouye sou bihab jean timon uh -huh. bon la ni yon limo yo ba nou pou ba bon nou moi est-ce que presque tout jean timon ha kouye limo ça et puis limo ça ka di comme ça date qui il n'est pas possible pour nous arrêter. Bon, ça parle pour que vous allez à ce voicemail. Qui est-ce que vous avez Qui est-ce que vous avez passé à la commune de Timon pour prendre nos gens qui sont des gens qui sont des gens qui sont des gens Bon, à ce moment, nous avons même dit que c'est le dernier jour de Timon qui est des Nous vous avons. Bon, moi, je vais vous dire que vous avez des gens qui sont des gens qui sont des gens qui sont des gens qui sont Coutez-moi, coutez-moi, moi ça fait comme un petit cacouille. Qui limo ou ni? Limo ou ni? Ouais, d'un nombre, ouais, d'un nombre, d'un nombre, d'un nombre, d'un nombre. La panier, il y a une personne qui a passé, m'a dit que les gens qui n'ont pas de monde 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 qui n'ont Ok, je comprends. Vous savez que le monde est là. Oui. Mais on va faire un peu de temps. Oui. Ça, je vais vous dire. Là, 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 je vais vous dire. Et non, mon nom, c'est Sera Jules. Qui est gentiment qui a couillé pas jamais joué avec mon Zala? Ok, bon, moi, bien content de vous parce que nous, 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 Ok. Et bien, ça qui est bien important, je vais vous dire que vous avez une réponse à vous plus tard, mais à présent, l'official a coûté. Il a coûté le conseil de l'Union, et ça, il a dit que si nous ne passons pas dans l'autre limo, nous ne sommes pas dans l'autre limo, nous ne sommes pas dans l'autre parce que nous ne sommes pas dans l'autre limo. Oui, et nous ne sommes pas dans l'autre limo. Oui. Oui. Qui est-ce que tu m'as dit que tu as une réponse à l'autre limo? Bon, si mon ça n'a pas fait pour faire le job là, pas y a l'autre monde, parce que là, il y a des gens qui sont en need. Ou t'en? Oui. Si le coffre qui a passé 24 heures là, il passe à la dernière chose ici. Les gens qui sont en train de faire le job. Et il y a des gens qui sont en train de faire le protocole là. Moi, ça dit, les gens qui sont en train de faire le job. Ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-ah-
That's mm -hmm. the, the name is Theophila mm -hmm. Charles. Charles, yes. Theophila yes. Charles. So you could call Theophila Charles on that number for Chazelle Saltabus. Nuna muna lelinga. Merci et bonjour avec merci beaucoup hier. Bonjour, bonjour. We've lost that line. Hello, Ola? Oui, mais là. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, caller. Bonjour, bonjour, Cox. Oui, euh, bonjour. Um, fait contribution, nous écoutez. Oui, ça qui fait là, même, même problème là, ici à qui juste couille à là. Nous mm. ni même problème ça qu'à suivre parce que maintenant les mots, ils ont souhaité mais couille ces mots là. Et puis, on dit, mais couille au bon matin, et mais à quoi, mais à quoi, mais pas, mais pas, je mets une pièce, mon assouling là, et puis pour qu'on mette une pièce, bah, à quoi, mais, mais, qui les mots, on est, et qui, 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 pas qu'à sous, on est, qu'à sous, central, central, hum, et qui les mots, on est, t'es, mais, t'es, mais, tu as joué, nous, les mots, les mots, à qui, on est, l'islam, et n'y a où ça, Ok, mais moi, quand je suis dans l'IMO, avec l'IMO, ça coûte 730. 730-25117, mais quoi Oui, moi, je suis même l'IMO, ça. Encore, ça nous a fait ici, nous sommes les gens qui ont coûté, nous sommes les gens qui ont coûté. Nous sommes bien contents pour que nous sommes les pour que nous soyons les gens parce que nous sommes les gens qui pour que nous soyons pour que nous soyons les gens qui ont et nous même qui met en place et espérer pour tant qui est formation nous gagne. Puisque par là si ça coûte ça mais ça vous êtes marqué try bestly, but you really need to try speed up ça yoka faire puisque situation car mm -hmm. vini pli pli a de la pli twisted. Ok, ouais, nous après c'est ça que nous just de just notre patience. Merci en chai. Oui, mais ça me veut dire au gouvernement, il a fait un effort et tout le monde a apprécié ça, il a fait un effort. Il a toujours joué un criticisme. Le gouvernement a fait un effort, parce que tout le virus ça a fait un bail qui vient à nous, si vite. Le gouvernement a été en tout. Les autres expènes, toutes les autres bagailles. Donc, c'est le monde qui nous pour nous accompagner. Et puis, où est le gloire et le zodia? Oui. Mais ça, vous devez dire qu'on travaille à tout ça, mais ça est pour tout. Et pour les gens qui sont malades, ça même est pour tout, parce qu'il y a des gens qui ont commencé à faire de la vie. Oui, nous apprécions la contribution avec nous pour nous nous avons des informations avec nous, pour les gens qui ont écouté, et nous avons des informations avec nous, pour les gens qui ont écouté, et nous avons des réponses, même à présent, pour nous avons des réponses. All right. Well, merci à chaque fois que vous avez des gens qui ont accepté pour vous accueillir et puis des situations que le gouvernement a certaines. Ok. Ok, frère. Merci à chaque fois. Oui, ok. All right. We have time for just uh, two more calls. Our time is, is running out. Uh, we, we're scheduled to end this broadcast at 12 p.m. Uh, we have another call? Okay. We have, okay. Okay, what we will do, we will, we will take a break at this juncture. We will take a break at this juncture and we will take more calls coming up after. The number to call is 468-2162. You can call that number and we can assist you best as possible with any issues that you may have. Quite a few persons calling in mm -hmm. saying that they're not getting through to the uh, list of contacts for the distribution of quarantine relief supplies. Um, I can imagine how disturbing it may be that you're calling a number and you're not getting through and you really need for yourself and your household. Mm -hmm. um, but we do ask that you uh, be a bit patient just for a little while longer. Officials so are well, taking well. note of everything that, uh, every call that we receive so far and uh, we are moving to expeditiously to relieve each and every one of you. So we're due for a break. When we come back, more It's Power Bike Time! Woo! Woo! <laughs> hey, you need to cover your mouth. Don't you know about the coronavirus? It's not a joke. It's a serious thing. True that. What's coronavirus anyway? The coronavirus is a group of viruses that causes the common cold. In more severe cases, it's like the flu. Really? So are you saying that this is not a new virus? No, it isn't new. It's a new strain. 
That's why some people say novel coronavirus. Uh. Yes, look at it like a family who just had a new baby. Oh, yes. I get it now. So how is it spread? Through the air, like coughing and sneezing, touching objects, surfaces with the virus on it, touching your face, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, before washing your hands with running water and soap. Sounds like someone has the flu or the cold. Are the symptoms the same? The symptoms are fever, coughing, sneezing, headaches, just like the flu. In some severe cases, you also have breathing difficulties and chest pains. Some persons also get pneumonia and kidney failure. And as you have heard the news, some people have died. Wow. So how do I protect myself? We have always been told to wash our hands with running water and soap. In the event there is no running water and soap, you use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer of at least 70% alcohol. Try your best to avoid touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. And in the event you need to sneeze and cough into a tissue, you throw the tissue into a bin. If you do not have tissue and you need to sneeze or cough, you do it into your elbow. Yes, I heard that. So what medications can we take? Well, as the virus is new, there is no medication or vaccine that you could really take to prevent it. What we really have to do is to practice infection control measures to protect ourselves. Hey, people! <sighs> I need to get a sweat. Let's get moving. Let's do it, guys. So, wait, how do I get more information? Good, I have that number on Lockpile. For further information, contact the Bureau of Health Education at 468-5349, 468-5347, or 468-5342. Let's defy limits! Woohoo! Come on! In a world where germs are widespread, comes a group of superhero germ busters, the germaphobes. We spend most of our time fighting germs every day of the week. After I play, I wash my hands. Before I eat, I wash my hands. After I play with my puppy, I wash my hands. I cover my sneezes with my forearm or elbow when I am in public. And I cover my cough to avoid spreading dangerous germs. We are the germophones, germ busting superheroes. You can be too. Always wash your hands and cover your sneeze and cough. Let's stop the spread of menacing germs. We'll be back, germophones, with more powerful germs. And we will be waiting to prevent you from spreading. Welcome back to the broadcast. Uh, thank you so much for staying tuned. For those of you just joining us, we're now toward the tail end of our broadcast for the day. Uh, you're watching the GIS Live uh, COVID-19 response from the command center. My name is Jesse Leonce and in studio, uh, I have my colleagues, Mr. Carlton Cyril, uh, mm -hmm. speaking to us, giving summary, summaries in mm -hmm. Creole, as mm -hmm. well as uh, Tony Nicholas, who uh, him and myself, we've been uh, sitting in for the week in response, while well, dealing with the COVID-19 response from the studio. We now want to go to a news report that we've been promising you from this morning. It is, it is ready, an update on the Nemo relief package distribution. Some persons have been calling, they want to know what is mm -hmm. happening. Um, we have some visuals on what is happening on the ground. The National Emergency Organization, Nemo, continues efforts to bring relief to families and persons in need and those who were caught off guard due to the announcement of the 24-hour curfew for seven days made by the Prime Minister Honorable Alan Chastney on Tuesday, 31st March. The government was forced to take drastic measures earlier this week as evidence of community spread of the COVID-19 was established. Nemo Director Doreen Gustav shed some light on the operations of the organization and the massive island-wide relief package program. We have started our distribution 
some communities have received the packages and uh, you would um, appreciate that it is a, a mammoth of a task to prepare 10,000 packages for um, our um, marginalized persons, um, those who are on public assistance, um, those who are disabled and, and so on. So we have really worked hard. Our volunteers have given 100% in assisting with this effort. There are some also who are not able to go back home to their family because you can see that in as much as we are trying to or trying to apply the social distancing here, there are a number of persons. And so um, persons who believe that they have, who know that they have um, the persons with underlying conditions at their home, maybe the elderly, they are saying that we can't go back home. And so they are giving 100% and more to the efforts of getting this items to those persons who are in need. We have given to Babano, Castro Central, um, Ancillary, Canaries. We, today we are working with um, uh, Grosile. We are sending off to Sufre, um, Miku, uh, Beaufort South will be receiving theirs, Denry also will be receiving theirs. And so we are working feverishly to ensure that all of these are complete, not all completed by today. Okay. Uh, if not all, at least 90%, 95% complete by today. Okay, so as you can see there, um, this is for a family of four. We have the packing list for from um, the Ministry of Equity for persons who are in need of these goods. So that um, packing list um, for that family of four is right in front of you. We have rice, flour, sugar, milk. Um, we have some other items, um, corn beef. Uh, we have sanitary napkins, baby um, diapers, tissue, um, toilet tissue. We have dishwashing liquid, um, cleaning supplies. Uh, supplies. Um, Director Gustav echoed the sentiments of the government of St. Lucia, asking citizens to be patient, stop spreading fake news, and adhere to the advisories of the Ministry of Health and Wellness. I know there, there's a lot circulating on Facebook, and um, I say to the public, do not take everything you see. So right now in front of you, you have the contents of the, um, the hampers that we have prepared. And so you can see for yourself, this is the, what we have in our package that we're delivering to the households that I need. Um, and like I said, that's 10,000 packages that we are preparing here at Nimo in Busy. Again, I want to appeal to the public to be patient. I know that when you're hungry, you're not hearing anything like that, but we are definitely working um, to get these packages to you. Uh, we are appealing again to persons to please um, continue staying at home. Do not congregate. Um, let the police do their job. Work with us at NEMO. Work with the government, with the Ministry of Health, in order to accomplish what we have set out to, and that is to ensure that this um, that the COVID um, virus does not spread throughout St. Lucia and persons are safe, um, the communities are safe, once more, so please work with us. Stay at home and stay safe. Reporting for the Office of the Prime Minister, I am Danielle Dubois. Thank you very much, Danielle. Uh, we are going to take two more calls. The number you can call, 468-2162. 468-2162. You can call us, let us know what is happening in your neck of the woods. Quite a wide range of uh, queries that have been coming in from the calls this morning and we encourage you to continue while we have the time so your issue if it's particular if it's specific or if it's related to your community exactly. can be addressed we have a call Victoria Chazelle. we have a call from Victoria Chazelle. hello good morning hello good day yes um yeah 
The lady, the gentleman you. gave me a number, a number to call, mm -hmm. okay? And I, I'm calling and the number is saying, um, the, the mailbox is full. So I'm wondering what is going on. Okay, so you said you're calling from Chozelle. Was yes. that a 730-2491 number right. caller? Pardon? Was that the 730-2491 number? 2491. Okay. Yes. Okay, we're trying to um, get down, get to the bottom of uh, this situation. Uh, we, as we mentioned earlier, we have officials who are on deck listening to every word in this live broadcast. Yours is not the only uh, complaint we've had of a, of a number that we've given out of the quarantine um, really supplies dis distributors. Um, so it is a little bit... Um, perplexing at this moment because they are supposed to be in the communities on the ground delivering the supplies as we speak so um i think we can also take that into consideration perhaps they are busy handing out to um, community members persons who are in need at the moment um it's quite an unfortunate situation because there are some who want to hear who want to be assured by their their um, particular district distributor that they are on their way to their community but i assure you that uh, officials are listening and we hope to provide you with uh, an alternative number if needs be by the end of this broadcast um, so please stay tuned please stay tuned we will be providing you with an alternative before this broadcast ends hopefully okay but you said that they're hearing me and tell them listen because if they're coming in the main road which is Victoria tell them there are people living in Monjac Giga, Cafe, and all those places where they need to come. Okay? Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm certain they will be coming in um, based on the 311 hotline with. information that they have received. So if the persons in these uh, Duga and all these communities, if they have received calls from these places, then I am certain they will be coming um, based on that information from the 311 hotline. On, on my love, the 311 hotline doesn't work at all. Seriously, part of it. Okay. Because I have called m from morning and nothing. So what is the what is that wild goose chase they're sending people on? What they should have done is just open the country just a little while and let people yeah. go and buy their yeah. stuff. Yeah. Because Boje yeah. Moon say. Um, just by my dear auntie back no, in the Because you're all telling that you're all sitting there. Yes, you're all telling us that, my lady, and I can understand. You know, but the little would go a long way. Look, the lady is calling, is calling me. Kila yo kame ne ina. Sa nou vle moun sa vo si. Mwen jes vle di yon bagay. Sa nou vle moun sa se dat ki tout moun ne an bwizen, tout moun vle bagay lan nou kopan sa. But yon an se bagay lan nou vle moun pwen responsabilite pou sa. La ni organizasyon, la ni moun an komunite. A bagay lan pa si pose ka jes soti kas tui. La te hani disaster relief. La te hani moun ki a sou lis le pov. Se pwen bagay ki jes ka fet a prezan. Es se moun sa a han le lis lan. Kote se moun nan ki a komun nan ki si pose travay an se komunite a lokal gouvedman. Kote se komunite sa a. But sa nou ka di a se. La ni bagay pou asiste. Free one one nan nou da akos sa ki ka fet de pi. Me se moun nan ki te si pose. Moun nan pa vini pov jodi a. Non te pou ha la ka hen asistans, man moun te pou ha asiste. Kote disaster preparedness komite ya, kote local government, nou ka mande se kwestyon sa. Kon a nou dako, la ni moun ki pa wepon, fon yo, la nan an problem ek fon yo. Nou men misi ya ka fe sa nou pe, ek se pou sa nou ka pren se kol la, ek kon nou di. Avan chou a fini, ek lan moun ka koute, nou kay sa bay efformasyon, le y vini pou sa. Kon a nou bien kontan hot ka kouye ek efformasyon ki ka vini ya. Mersi yon chay. Thank you very much for that call. Do we have another call? I think we'll be able to take one more before we proceed to an interview with a government minister in studio now. Okay, we have a final call from Leclerc. Good day. Can you tell us um, what your experience has been so far? Um, my, well, my experience has been uh, okay. Because can you speak up, please? I've been with friends and family. Trying my thing. And what I would ask, want to find out is whether any pharmacy will be given a uh, little... Time to uh, open on Mama, Mama, I can barely hear you. Whether any pharmacy will be given some time to open on Monday. The pharmacies on Monday. Pharmacies will be open on Monday. Pharmacies are open during this time to accommodate the general public. So my, I would advise you to um, the, is it the Victoria Hospital Pharmacy? 
Yes. Yes, it is open. So you can head out there if you have a medical or emergency or it's tap here to go um, fill out your prescription. Purchase some medication. And usually I do it as yes, you could fill out your prescription during this time. Yeah? Okay, thank you very much for that call. Uh, we are going to take uh, a break with uh, this uh, statement coming from uh, the CMO, the Chief Medical Officer, uh, Dr. Sharon Belmar-George. She will be making a statement, what to do if you feel sick? What to do if you feel sick? Take a look. Good day, everyone. I am Dr. Sharon Belmar George, Chief Medical Officer in the Ministry of Health and Wellness. In the management of COVID-19, there are actions that must be taken if you begin to feel unwell. First, you must monitor your symptoms. If you develop respiratory symptoms such as fever, cough, runny nose, sneezing, sore throat, call one of the clinical support telephone numbers for advice. If the medical care provider tells you that the symptoms are mild, please follow the recommended steps of care. If your symptoms are moderate to severe, you will be advised to go to the respiratory clinic closest to you. Wear a face mask when leaving the house, especially if you are coughing or sneezing. This will prevent others from getting the infection. We recommend regular hand washing and the use of hand sanitizer when away from home. Also, avoid direct contact with others and also to reduce touching other surfaces. When going to the medical facility, please go directly to the medical provider. Do not sit among the other patients. Testing and treatment and care to persons with COVID-19 is free of charge. Work with the Ministry of Health and Wellness as we reduce the impact of COVID-19 on you and your families. For further information, please contact the Bureau of Health Education at 468-5347, 468-5349, or 468-5350. That statement there, what to do if you feel sick, coming from the Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Sharon Belmar George. Uh, we are soon to have a sit down with uh, the Minister, um, Minister Dominic Fede, the Minister for Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries. And he will be um, sitting down with uh, Tony, myself, and Carlton in just a few moments. Uh, he's uh, soon to arrive here. So we want you to stay tuned for that interview. We are going to take a break right now to set up. It's Power Bike Time! <laughs> You need to cover your mouth. Don't you know about the coronavirus? It's not a joke. It's a serious thing. True that. What's coronavirus anyway? The coronavirus is a group of viruses that causes the common cold. In more severe cases, it's like the flu. Really? So are you saying that this is not a new virus? No, it isn't new. It's a new strain. That's why some people say novel coronavirus. Yes, look at it like a family who just had a new baby. Oh, yeah. I get it now. So how is it spread? Through the air. Like coughing and sneezing, touching objects, surfaces with the virus on it, touching your face, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, before washing your hands with running water and soap. Sounds like someone has the flu or the cold. Are the symptoms the same? The symptoms are fever, coughing, sneezing, headaches, just like the flu. In some severe cases, you also have breathing difficulties and chest pains. Some persons also get pneumonia and kidney failure. And as you have heard the news, some people have died. Wow. So how do I protect myself? We have always been told to wash our hands with running water and soap. In the event there is no running water and soap, you use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer of at least 70% alcohol. Try your best to avoid touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. And in the event you need to sneeze and cough into a tissue, you throw the tissue into a bin. 
If you do not have tissue and you need to sneeze or cough, you do it into your elbow. Yes, I heard that. So what medications can we take? Well, as the virus is new, there is no medication or vaccine that you could really take to prevent it. What we really have to do is to practice infection control measures to protect ourselves. Hey, people! <sighs> I need to get a sweat. Let's get moving. Let's do it, guys. So, wait, how do I get more information? Good, I have that number on lockpad. For further information, contact the Bureau of Health Education at 468-5349, 468-5347, or 468-5342. Let's defy limits! Woohoo! Come on! Welcome back to the broadcast. Uh, we are joined in studio by the Minister for Tourism, Information, Broadcast, Culture and the Creative Industries, Minister Dominic Fedes, also the MP for... Uh, also the MP for Ancillary Canneries, my apologies. The best uh, constituency, by the way. Welcome to the set. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Okay. Um, thank you for having me. Can you just give us a, a brief rundown on... Um, what has been happening in your constituency, the work that is ongoing there now in response to COVID-19? Well, I know yesterday um, in the locations of canneries and certainly um, the disaster committees in Ancillary as well, uh, would have been uh, working feverishly to distribute um, the um, care packs that we provided across the nation in most constituencies by now. I know that Nemo is still doing a lot of work to advance this to ensure that um, the supplies go to as many people as possible. Um, the target audience, really, what we're trying to do is to reach the needy people, um, the vulnerable, uh, elderly folks, uh, people who are bedridden, and people who need that extra care at this time as the country is shut down, as promised by the Prime Minister. So uh, this is all in an effort to um, really ease and cushion the inconvenience as we um, do as much as we can to isolate the, the country. What, what has your experience been? I, I can imagine the challenge it is in your um, political career um, addressing this particular matter, dealing with a virus, a pandemic in the community. Um, how has it changed your, your, leading, your, your, your leadership skills, um, your political approach in your constituency? But what I've done is very simple. Um, you know, I've learned in politics that, you know, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. So I think once you do the right thing, Jesse, I think, that is my conviction. Once we do the right thing as a government, I, am, I always go by that. And I think you come out uh, well um, once you, you do the right thing. And that has always been my guiding principle uh, to politics and uh, everything else that we do. But I think this is not a time to be political. This is a time to uh, ensure that we put the health and safety of our country first. Uh, the, dif the decision by our cabinet uh, to um, shut the country down it was not an easy decision, but we were faced with two choices. Once we saw that there was community tracing, we had to then say, well, um, do we give our people seven days of pain or do we give them um, a lifetime of sadness should a loved one die from the COVID-19 disease? And so what we've had to do is said, look, we prefer to do the former, which is um, we can all make some sacrifices to ensure that we save the people that we love, our grandmothers, our mothers, uh, those people with diabetes, those people with kidney failures, um, those people with asthmas who are very vulnerable. I got the news today from the UK that a colleague of mine um, lost her brother uh, in his 60s to COVID-19. And that was the shocking news that I received um, first thing this morning. So this is a real situation. This is not something that we should play with. And I want to take this opportunity to really encourage all my constituents and St. Lucians in general to heed the warning put forward by the Department of Health. Let's move on to your, your ministry. Uh, there has been word circulating that um, there is great cost associated to um, the quarantining of uh, 
the, these persons at the hotels, paying the hotels to, you know, stay there. Can you uh, clarify that for us? Is the government paying these hotels for this accommodation? Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Uh, there could be nothing further from the truth. Um, the hotel community have been uh, so benevolent at this time, and their level of corporate social responsibility has been impeccable. Uh, they have helped us with food. Uh, they have made their facilities available to us. Um, I want to st thank Starfish. I want to thank Belgium. I want to thank Sandals the Talk. I want to thank the Prime Minister's own hotel, Coco Creole and Coco Palm, um, for making themselves available as quarantine facilities. I want to thank um, Ali's Inn. I want to thank Habitat Terrace. And a number of places that have either put themselves forward to allow us to uh, provide quarantine facilities for those people who need to be quarantined. Uh, most of them are people who have come from other countries, uh, predominantly Martinique, the US, and the UK. And so what the deal has been, to answer your question more directly, is that we have gone to the hotels and said, we need your help. And the hotel said, well, how can we help? We said, well, we need uh, to create quarantine facilities because our medical facilities, it, with the absence of a quarantine hospital, we just can't do it. And they said, well, no problem. So they say, well, if you pay the electricity cost, the water and other utilities, because the hotels are shut down. Yes. There's no business happening. We've lost 12,000 jobs in the industry. And I hope we can talk about the economic Certainly. ramifications in yes. tourism a bit later on. But, and so back to your question, they have said, listen, there is, we, we don't need you to pay us any accommodation fee. We will open our kitchens for you, pay the staff, pay us for not the, the food, but pay us for the supplies to prepare the meals. And so every day we've been preparing 1,500 meals for support staff and quarantine facilities. And, and so therefore that is a, a tremendous cost that you can't have someone pay for you. That is a responsibility of the government. So I've heard, I've heard figures like 80,000 and all kinds of nonsense. Um, those figures are far from the truth. Um, when the accounting is reconciled, there'll be a zero balance towards accommodation or leasing of any hotels. We're just paying bare bones operating costs. So I just want to make that clear. Mm -hmm. And we also have a situation where Sandals also stepped in with the accommodation for the Cuban doctors and nurses. Absolutely, and that's a big help. The Cubans are here to help us with the moving of the Owen King EU hospital, and that project is moving along quite nicely. And, you know, that is going to build up the capacity of the Ministry of Health, uh, who I must say have been doing a, a tremendous job. You know, Dr. Uh, George Belmar, uh, my colleague in Cabinet, Honorable Mary Isaac, the Minister for Health, has been doing a lot of work. Um, herself and I are on the phone very late, trying to see how best um, we can work together as colleagues and to fix this problem that is befalling us right now. Mm -hmm. um, I've gotten to know uh, Dr. Joseph, Dr. Fossois, um, Dr. Lisa Charles, who was uh, working to help do the move. So it, it's been absolutely fantastic. And you know, all of our nurses um, on the front line of this battle, um, think of them and the courageous effort that they're doing at the moment. Uh, think of our police officers who are roaming the streets, making sure that um, we all adhere to the quarantine uh, facilities. Think of the risk that they're putting themselves on. The, um, and, and so that really is a great source of inspiration to me. Yesterday, I was at Nemo and, you know, to see the amount of volunteers that came out, mm -hmm. you know, the amount of St. Lucians who came to help. And it is in that spirit that we are moving forward to try to ensure that we fight this. Mm -hmm. in corralling the, the forces of the nation, bringing together all St. Lucians um, at this rather difficult time. Okay. We know as well, Mr. Minister, that we have quite a number of our St. Lucians working within the cruise se sector. And um, we've been receiving calls, some of them wondering what arrangements can be made for them to come back home. Some of them were on quarantine on those ships. And now that their quarantine period is over, they are expressing some 
anxiety, as we could well imagine, in terms of wanting to return home. What is happening with that? You know, th this, this question is um, a very stark example as to how, you know, this, how tourism is all over this and how the implications are on tourism. Um, we are working with the, the Ministry of Health at the moment to repatriate a group of St. Lucians who are working with Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines. The ship is um, going to various ports in the Caribbean at this time, and we are looking at the travel history and the medical records of those um, crew members who are St. Lucians to make a determination as to whether they need to be quarantined or not. I think most likely they will have to be. Um, and so various companies within the cruise industry have approached this differently. And um, I can tell you that um, we are likely to have a ship not p docked in port, but um, docked outside of Castries, and they will be tendering in the, um, the crew members. Mm -hmm. So I think it's about four to eight St. Lucians who will be returning. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Can you give us an update on those who are now quarantined, uh, the numbers that will be released in the coming days? Okay, so yesterday, I know that um, the Ministry of Health would have released the batch that came predominantly from Martinique and the U.S. that were at Starfish. And then as well, um, on Sunday, uh, we have quite a few, I don't have the correct numbers, uh, that will be um, ending their quarantine. Okay at the Belgium Hotel. So um, that should take you somewhere in the region of about 200 combining the two hotels. So it's quite significant and it's, a quite, it's quite an expensive um, cost to the government uh, to be able to respond to this. I, I, I want to congratulate us as St. Lucians. I'm hearing that other islands in the Caribbean are using old prison cells and um, schools and so on and their quarantine facilities are not up to par. Um, in the case of us, um, became rather disappointing to hear people criticize the facilities, but these are some of our well-appointed hotels that compete and win many awards uh, for accommodation in tourism. So I have absolutely no doubt that they all um, possess the finest amenities mm -hmm. and that people there were taken care of in the very best way that we could. Mm -hmm. What are some of the conversations you've been having with some of your regional colleagues as far as tourism is concerned? Um, uncertainty, uncertainty, uncertainty. Uh, we saw SARS, we saw 9-11, we saw the 2008 crash. I mean, Tony, bear in mind that um, in the 2008 crash, the level of unemployment claims in any given week was 750,000. Mm -hmm. In this corona pandemic economic fallout, we've had over six million claims in one week. So that gives you, uh, comparatively speaking, the scope of the economic disaster that this is. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, last year we were hosting about uh, 18,000 people a week in our hotels. Today, uh, we have about eight people on the island that mm -hmm. got stranded. I think deliberately, some of them are like, let's quarantine ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, there was one couple from Canada who said, well, we will wait until, <laughs> you know, the flights come back, whatever that is. So, uh, but to answer your question directly, it, it is an economic disaster that none of us know. Um, I think that this crisis is going to show us uh, how a lifeline tourism was to our economy. When you think of the fact that every time a tourist came through the airport, the government picked up $98 in airport taxes. Mm -hmm. When that guest went to a hotel and the average stay in St. Lucia cost about 3,000 US, that guest would pay 300 US dollars in VAT, just on the accommodation. Mm -hmm. And then their consumption of wines and food and all the VAT that the hotel would have had to pay on that consumption, um, electricity, and all the jobs that tourism would have induced, the farming community. I know companies that uh, rely on tourism that are presently shut because uh, their business have dried up. I know distribution companies that are gonna be losing uh, millions of dollars and containers in uh, fresh produce and supplies. Um, and so this has a ripple effect 
I, I know the electricity consumption has to be down by 20 to 25 percent mm -hmm. uh, at Lucilec. And when you put that in, in a dollar value, it's immeasurable. And I think that this is going to show us, really, I mean, there are 14,000 jobs that uh, we have lost. But uh, help is on the way. I know that the Prime Minister is going to be making um, a very big announcement on his um, stimulus package. He will uh, be sharing with the nation the details of that. And I'm sure in there you'll see some very good things to bring relief to uh, the, not just tourism, but the wider economy as well. Definitely. Efforts in the global market. I mean, how do we keep St. Lucia in the airs and, and the hearts and minds of persons abroad? Just go, go through that for yeah. us. Yeah. So we have a campaign that we're doing uh, that's called um, Travel Nature or uh, Beautiful by Nature. And we are showing people, uh, prior to that, we had a campaign that uh, focused on um, seven things to do while you're quarantined in St. Lucia. <laughs> and that <laughs> received an award. Um, in fact, one of the international travel publications said that it was one of the most creative um, PR exercises that they had seen from tourism boards around the world and destinations as far as trying to keep in the mind of customers. And so this is what we're doing now. We're ensuring that we're telling the, we're using public health messages around a St. Lucian theme uh, to promote St. Lucia, but also say to people that, hey, listen, this is not going to last forever. This, the world will come back. We will, airlines will start flying again, mm -hmm. and hotels will reopen, and beaches will be reopened, and destinations will be reopened for business. And so what you've got to do is book a St. Lucian vacation now for next year. And, and that is what the whole exercise has been about. It's about the future bookings. Uh, there's a lot of hope, big hope, that maybe uh, we can get through uh, the summer and maybe things can pick up by the winter. The winter. But mm -hmm. nobody knows. The reception of, of travel partners to this, this, um, this, this um, engagement. Well, the aviation industry almost went bankrupt, as you would have seen uh, in many uh, international publications and that really is a big threat uh, for tourism so what we've got to do is to uh, make to hope that uh, you know the relief packages that have been announced by various governments are going to come through for the tourism sector and that um, that relief to the aviation sector which is absolutely critical not just for tourism but for commerce generally and for the economies of a lot of our marketplaces that that will actually stay in place and the airlines will be able to tap that uh, stimulus that the governments have announced. But we have got to uh, prepare ourselves that when the market comes back that we are ready to compete and we are ready to penetrate uh, the market when it comes back. Do you foresee those airlines picking up from where we left off or would we have to renegotiate with those airlines in terms of <coughs> flying back into St. Lucia? I think um, the airlines would be very uh, willing to fly. You know, Tony, a plane on the ground doesn't make any money. Mm -hmm. For an airplane to make money, it's got to be utilized. It's got to be in disguise. And I think that um, we've got to make sure that we are at knocking at the door and, and be among the first. Uh, I think Night St. Lucia's demand and the pace of growth was one of the strongest in the Caribbean. And I think that we are going to um, be a priority in terms of the reorganization of the airlift sector. The other thing that was critical was how we dealt with our travel restrictions. Mm -hmm. We had very strong communication with our airlines to make sure that uh, we worked with them in terms of uh, uh, repatriating all of the guests that was stranded here as well. And that is important because the liability for airlines would have been so catastrophic had we not uh, cooperated, even during our travel restrictions, mm -hmm. in trying to repatriate those visitors. So uh, we've kept all of our relationships, so I think that we're going to be good. And there's strong demand for our destinations. And to go back to NEMO, what, what efforts are ongoing to assist with NEMO on the ground? Um, a lot. I know that um, the cabinet and the prime minister is working to activate NEMAC. Uh, to, get to strengthen uh, NEMO 
uh, to build a, a, a command center to ensure that um, it is um, properly organized and solidified. So uh, they've gotten tremendous support. There is a, a team of uh, ministers and um, senior uh, civil servants in the government mm -hmm. that have actually now been assigned to NEMO to give it that assistance to ensure that it can better ser serve the public. Uh, we're working on the 311 facility to make sure that all the technological glitches that the public would have seen uh, on the first day of the shutdown or the, in the aftermath immediately after the shutdown that we can ameliorate that situation by uh, bringing about uh, more capacity with our 311 facility. Definitely. Okay, any final words? But before, um, we've been talking about maintaining the whole social distancing based on, on your constituency, Ancillary Canaries. Can you tell us, uh, are your people adhering, complying, based on when you go driving through the community? Well, the night when we um, announced that the liquor license were going to be, well, the liquor license were suspended, I saw um, all the bars, I'm so proud of them, all the bars in Ancillary, you went into places like Boadien, very thriving, lively communities, they were ghost towns. Uh, people are aware, people are afraid, and I think people are um, in short doing their best. Um, what we've got to make sure is that when we go to the supermarkets, as much as the supermarkets ensure um, social distancing within the shopping um, on the inside, when we line up, we've got to make sure that we create that distance among ourselves as well, because it defeats the whole, pro uh, the whole purpose of the protocol. So what, what we've got to do is to make sure that we do our best, play our part, stay at home. And, you know, I've had so many Zoom meetings. I've never had so many <laughs> Zoom meetings in my life. Of which we'll uh, Yeah. And I think that Zoom meetings are going to become a new normal uh, post-COVID. So... In, in many respects, this is showing us how to do business more effectively and how to better connect with the world. But I want to take this opportunity, if you'd allow me, sure. uh, to just encourage my constituents mm. to be safe and to <laughs> heed the warnings of the um, public health officials, stay away from rumors, ensure that you get official information only, uh, let it come from the Ministry of Health. Uh, they have got daily updates. Make sure that you... Uh, protect your loved ones, protect the older people, uh, the vulnerable, the bedridden, uh, people with chronic um, illnesses such as uh, diabetes and kidney problems and uh, as well as asthmatics. Uh, you are um, said to be very vulnerable by the health experts. And so I want to take this opportunity to encourage all of you in Ancillary and in Canaries. I, I miss you all and it is extremely uh, difficult to come and see you now because of the social distancing, but um, we are working to avert as, as much of the inconvenience as possible uh, to all of you, and we're praying for you, and, and God be with you all. Thank you very much, Mr. Minister, Minister for Tourism, Information, Broadcasting, Culture, and the Creative Industries, the Minister Dominic Fede, and MP4 the constituency of ancillary canneries. I now hand over to Carlton Cyril, mm -hmm. also known as Cox. Merci tellement <laughs> pour, pour Chancelin, um, 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 Tony et puis um, Léonce avec ministre nous a dit eh, merci en chaque vous qui avez venu avec nous apprécier l'information qui ou j'aime nous. Et puis nous, pour vous qui écoutez, et pour vous qui avez venu à la télévision, et pour ces gens qui en ces pays, eh, mont, eh, ces plus grands pays de l'Amérique, eh, l'Angleterre, qui écoutez ça qui a fait ici, ou qui savent que GIS, c'est qu'on nous a fait l'information, fait le public qui sorti du uh, gouvernement. Ministre, uh, ministre, nous sommes ici en studio, et puis nous, c'est honorable uh, Dominique uh, Fede, uh, qui ici, parce que vous bien savent, là, il est pour. Uh, Tourism, ça a tombé en bas par le sol. Et là, nous tenons Jesse Leon qui a parlé. Et quand parmi ces bails qui a discuté, parmi ces questions, nous peut-être voulu savoir ça a été fait, qui a fait ça, qui a marché en bas du département, qui a déjà adressé les vignes pour les gens qui ont brisé. C'est ça, il a été targeté. Il parlait à ces gens de quarantaine. Et quand ils savent, ils ont des paroles qui 
en chai moun ka di gouvernement ni tellement l'argent ka paye et il ka coûter gouvernement chai l'argent pour ces hôtels ça qui point ces gens qui étaient quarantine il a dû c'est ça pour faire nous savent en chai en ces hôtels là en chai en ces places là qui a vinn aider à ces moun ça ça gouvernement ka paye c'est ces gens yo qui étaient ka travail pour assister ces moun qui en quarantine l'autre bagarre le cap c'est pour ces machins dislin et puis ces bagarre yo servir pour adresser et puis pour assister ces moun là là il cadeau à peu près 1500 à manger yo ka à préparer ba ces moun qui là ces moun qui ka supporter et puis il adresse aussi là il vient pour ces docteurs Cuba il a dit après transition fait hot Victoria pour aller à l'hôpital OK EUA OK EUA il dit c'est eh, Cuban na, yo descend ici ya, et puis sandals yo ka wete ko sandals sandals ka a commandé yo ko a touché en les ça eh, nous aussi tan la vini pour moun ki te quarantine et eh, yo ka eh, la je se moun sa il dit a pu pe descend en tout en compagnie qui a eh, sorti eh, belge en compagnie starfish c'est moun sa yo a fait tan et eh, eh, yo a décidé c'est moun sa yo pani eh, vermin ko a pu pe descend moun eh, ka trouver ko yo aller la caillou et eh, il dit en Chai en ces places là, euh, il pan un plus pour dire, yo ces mons a préparé place là et que by accommodation là il même qu'à tant de manière l'autre côté tenir pour servir place qu'on la jol euh, vie l'école pour chaîne mon il bien satisfait pour nous tenir côté qu'on hôtel et des en même voie là ni mon qui a dit pour qui c'est là manière qu'à traiter yo mais qu'il dit ou qu'il toujours hein ça car les les vini pour question de mande un patroni les vini pour ces avions qui camènent touristes vini cette ici est-ce que nous allons négocier puis yo qui manière bagarre là caillé les vini pour ces avion ça qui était amené mon vini simplici il dit ça ça y est um, ça c'est bagarre qui discuté mais quand il y a un avion qui a tête pas faire l'argent si avion ni gawé là il pas faire pièce l'argent quoi ça c'est un bagarre nous gawé un bon bagarre c'est simplici nous dans position côté en chaque monde veut venir ici à nous bagarre en place quoi nous ca vie ouais c'est avion il même dit ni confiance euh, c'est avion qui a vie en simplici. Yon a se bay lan, ministre lan touche à sou lan, il dit moun, qui a vini dit à présent, euh, et oui, important, touriste qui a vini simplici, et puis la vini pour organisation, et euh, contribution, l'agent touriste lan qui a fait, bay simplici, par les divat, la vini pour chaque touriste qui a tué à sou et pour la rang qui a payé en vat. Il parle là il pour faire ses petits compagnons qui ca travaille et puis touristes euh, avec ces touristes là c'est monde ça fermé quoi en nous ca ouais l'argent gouvernement te ca fait et puis va tout ça ca est venu en considération mais pour venir en fin il dit les pour venir pour premier ministre là premier ministre là il dit qu'il fait un annonce il croit en chaque monde qui plaît et puis qui tend ça qui en dit dans ba nous concentre les siens ça qui en dit ba nous qui ça il a proposé et que manière ba là à qui marcher um, l'autre ba là qui est bien important et touché à celui-là il vient pour Nimo il dit Nimo qui a une assistance gouvernement j'ai identifié monde qui plie expérimenté là il vient pour gouvernement monde qui a travaillé en service là qui ni expérience là il a déjà il a qui mettait eux ensemble pour bail conseil pour travailler puis nimo parce que yo ja wè nimo brisé assistance ça pour communauté pour place là qui représenter qui c'est lance la rue canari j'a dit c'est mon coûter avertissement qui ca sorti hors les autorités il ca dit rete en dedans il ca dit continuer conseil là qui ja bail là laver la main rete caillou pas marcher il fait sous pas rien pour il fait et qui a dit, ils savent un temps qui ouais, ils savent un temps, mon cas expecté pour ouais, ils même, ils ils pas ni un temps à présent, mais il a dit, il quoi un chai bagay qui tombe en place, les nous adresser ça qui a fait là. Quand tout nous cas ouais, commission c'est même, nous cas ouais, ça qui a fait là c'est tout le monde qui a essayé faire, toutes ces ministres là, toutes les ministres qui a essayé faire, ça y est au pour assister situation ça qui bien bon c'est nous ni yo ici a et que ça parle avec bonne information c'est pas yo dit nous ca tenir hord yo même ici a quoi Jesse Tony 
Yes, folks. Um, I just have an update here. I got a message from Honorable Bradley Felix, who's a representative for Shozel Saltibus. We had some calls expressing concern about the relevant number to call in terms uh -huh. of the relief packages. So he gave me a, a number here, 729-7479. So that's for the folks in Shozel Saltibus. The number you could call, the coordinator's number, 729 74 Seven, nine. Jesse? Thank you very much for that. Our time is winding down. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Carlton, for that summary mm -hmm. of uh, the minister's interview. Minister Dominic Fede, the Minister for Tourism, Information, mm -hmm. Broadcasting, Culture, and the Creative Industries. He went through, of course, uh, the tourism sector's contribution uh, to this uh, situation that we've been faced with, uh, imposed by the COVID-19 virus. And... Uh, Quite, quite uh, inspiring coming from the, the tourism sector, Tony, that uh, the hotels have offered their premises uh, free of charge and we yes. just have to pay for the yes. utilities and yes. so on. Um, and of course, as well, uh, the efforts to, to, to maintain relevant in the global markets, the, all the um, efforts that are ongoing, continuous dialogue with the travel partners, um, video releases, feel-good feel stories, and the general preparation for the rebound of the tourism industry. So thank you very much, uh, Minister Dominic Fede, for mm -hmm. sitting in with us. He had to leave. Uh, we did uh, get much information from that interview. We'd like to thank you, our viewers, uh, St. Lucians residents living here on the island and uh, the St. Lucians living abroad for watching, tuning into these, this Facebook Live. Uh, it's all the time we have for now, but we do encourage you to stay tuned for more programming. And of course, we will be back and fresh up on Monday morning with uh, the latest developments in with regard to COVID-19. My name is Jesse Leons, uh, and in studio, Tony Nicholas and Carlton Cyril. I'm mm -hmm. signing, on behalf, signing out on behalf of them all. <laughs> we have the cameraman saying himself as well. I think signing, he was enjoying the program. He was too. enjoying he the program. Say, Could we go on for another <laughs> hour, Fabian? Is that what you're hinting at? <laughs> We're signing off on behalf of the entire team at GIS. Be aware, please mm -hmm. ensure, understand that um, there's a team behind what is going on here right now mm -hmm. and bringing you up-to-date information with regard to the COVID-19 response. A word, Carlton? Yes. Moi, je voulais répéter les mots ça pour ces gens qui découvrent hot soirée et salte bislan. Nous avons information et comment te pour mettre là depuis nous avons information nous kai baoui les mots pour couiller ça c'est pour mon web soirée et salte bis nous jouons information hot on web Bradley Felix et qui a dit les mots où ça couille à ces sept de neuf sept quatre sept neuf encore les mots ça c'est pour Jean Soisey et Saltibis et puis là les mots où ça couille à sur une pièce conseil avec pièce question ou peut couiller sept d neuf sept quatre sept neuf encore pour les autres ces mots là nous qu'a parlé Timon et puis l'autre ces mots là nous qu'a travaillé à sur ça quand nous rien information nous qu'a ébahi nous qu'a apprécié tellement ouais t'es puis nous et nous apprécié au couille nous apprécié tout le monde qui a supporté ça qui a fait là et nous qu'a dit dédé nous qu'a parlé bah on encore et plus tard nous qu'a ni plus programme qu'a fait ici à quoi ouais t'es en écouter puis nous we just want to also let you know to bear patience um, with Nemo. If you um, cannot get through to the lines that have been provided, we want you to keep checking the Office of the Prime Minister Facebook page as well as the Nemo Facebook page for updated contacts. That will be coming on in just a moment. The numbers circulated previously are being inundated. They are being inundated, and that's part of the same 311 hotline issue. And these are the same people helping with the distributions, the, the contacts that, that you can call. So there's, uh, these people are really working hard on the ground. And if you're not getting them on the cell phone numbers that have been provided, we do apologize. But please keep abreast on the OPM, the Office of the Prime Minister Facebook page, as well as the NEMO Facebook page for updates on the new contact information. Thank you so much. Do have an enjoyable afternoon and stay safe. Stay COVID free.
we have a situation on our hands and it's called the coronavirus. To help stop the spread of this virus, good hygiene is essential. So be responsible. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially when you cough, sneeze, or blow your nose. Cough or sneeze in your arm or tissue and dispose responsibly. Avoid touching your face. Have as little contact between you and other people. If you develop symptoms, seek medical advice. And stay home away from people until full recovery. Remember those prone to viruses? It's like older adults and people who have serious underlying medical conditions. Be informed. Know that the virus spreads mainly through close contact with an infected person through coughing or sneezing. Know the symptoms, fever, cough, and shortness of breath. Stop the spread, keep St. Lucia healthy. Call 311 for the latest information. It's Power Bike Time!